You don't fit in any category. That's the oddest thing about you. That's the problem, and I feel it every day. And you know what the other sad thing is? Is everything that you once had, you've lost. I remember when you were the uh, wrestling expert for 202, and now it's Sam for the, from the Sam and Than Show. How is it Sam? I'm still the wrestling expert. He's young blood. Uh, the wrestlers apparently love him. He knows everything about their past. It's everything that you used to be. Because people are like, what are you doing with Fez? I go, well, he does know a lot about wrestling. I know everything about wrestling. I know ten times more than Sam does. BS. Sad. BS. Plus, there's Sam with that woman of his who must <laughs> want it and forcing him. Uh, here's uh, Brian. Brian, you're on the Run of Fez show. Hey, boys. How you doing? Good. Hey, uh, I smell another radio war. How about uh, uh, Fez versus Sam wrestling trivia? Uh, I would not let Fez do that. Fez is not up to that. The Why old not? Fez, the old Fez, yes. The Fez, the hungry Fez, absolutely. <laughs> I could destroy Sam in wrestling trivia. Destroy him. I don't think so, brother. No. Nope. Totally. I don't even think, do you even watch anymore? I check it out from time to time. See, you that's know? the thing. He knows the new stuff. You're like, remember that time Heenan? I go, nobody wants to hear about Heenan anymore, Fez. You're living in the past. I know enough about what's going on. I don't think so. Lil Beaver doesn't wrestle anymore. <laughs> Is that the only reference point you had? A fucking midget from 68? <laughs> that was it, Lil Beaver? Lord Lil Brook. <laughs> Sky low low. <laughs> I know my midgets. Did you only follow the midget league? <laughs> I love the midgets. Are you allowed to even call them midgets anymore? Because no. they used to just say midget wrestling coming up <laughs> right. after the commercial. <laughs> <laughs> and then there was Lil Tokyo. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. We we get that they're small. <laughs> he was we, dirty. We understand that they're midgets. You know, I didn't know until I heard the word little. <laughs> I like any time they'll go like this. Uh you know, Bret Hart is here tonight. Why don't we bring him out? And it's just a midget dressed like Bret Hart. And that's the insult. You're a fucking midget. <laughs> that's how I can even with people. That was when their nicknames actually were who the person was. Hillbilly Jim. I guess he's a big hillbilly. Then. I am a hillbilly. Right. No. I'm a hillbilly. <laughs> you know, that motherfucker was so... He was he was too far out ahead. He would have been with the blue-collar comedy tour today. <laughs> he was that fucking good. Yeah. Just and, wearing a horseshoe around his neck. And then Haystacks... Did he have a horseshoe also, Haystack? Yeah. Why don't all these motherfuckers have a horseshoe around their neck? <laughs> have luck. you ever seen it in real life? <laughs> no, is you... That, is that like a country pimp? <laughs> you would never see a farmer actually going to work wearing a horseshoe around his neck. I loved his song, too, that he performed himself. I used yeah. to sing it all the time. That, Don't go messing with country, Wait a minute. boy. Uh, uh, hold on. Uh, I hate to interrupt you. The future just walked in. Oh. Sam from the Sam and Dan show. Boo. Wow. Wrestling uh, trivia, you know the most, um, big man. Yeah, 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 I do. Yeah. Uh, remember the old days, Fez? Yes. I can hey, compete wanna, with him yeah. on I know. any level. I know. You're on that WrestleMania 94 thing that they're showing <laughs> on TV now. WWE, 94. WWE 24-7. 14 years ago. 14. <laughs> Who was it? You, the Hulkster. Sure. Duke the drum, Dumpster Grossy. <laughs> are you just yelling out names in the night now? Kamala. Do you know that most of the people that you hung out then with now are dead? That's sad. We yeah. lose a lot of them, sure. Yeah, most of them to old age. So, but there is no way Sam could beat me in wrestling trivia. It just couldn't happen. It's something I've, you know, I've watched all my entire life. Is that right, Cocoon? <laughs> you, don't call me Cocoon. Not Wilford Brimley. I know you've watched it your entire life. Yes. You were there when they fucking invented the leg lock. You go back so far. <laughs> there was no leg locks until the Watley era. What if we locked the leg? <laughs> all right, Sam, would you be up for this? Sure. Yeah. Yeah, I mean... I, aside from the only way Fez could have any more knowledge about wrestling would possibly be the territory system to where he lived. Like maybe the, like Florida wrestling. Florida See, we're already putting restrictions he on might be this. Slightly more familiar. Yeah. Well, what we could do, and we'll work this out with your uh, agent yeah. slash partner, Dad. So uh, we'll have some people 
uh, come up and put the trivia together. And uh, is there any restrictions, uh, Fez, is there any restrictions for you? Do you not want anything after 1967? <laughs> no, I'm fine Should, with everything. Can the last champion be Bruno? <laughs> Would you be happier then? <laughs> I'd be happier, but no, I'm not going to put a restriction on Have this. Have you ever seen any of those classic Madison Square Garden matches where they'll go on for an hour and you won't even see the audience applaud? Yet the <laughs> garden is fucking sold out. And it's a bunch of guys just sitting there watching two guys in an arm lock yeah. for 45 minutes. And I'm like... Was there nothing else to do? You know it sucks. You're not even cheering. And those matches would be two out of three falls. So you would have to watch at least two of those matches go on in they an hate, hour. They hated finishing moves back then. Mm. There was no pizzazz. Yeah, there was nothing. Was just, yeah. There wasn't any fucking music. There wasn't any costumes. Gra grabbing the guy by the hair was a big deal. He was supposed to freak out. Like, yeah. ah! My hair hurts. <laughs> you, you understand how much my scalp stings right now? <laughs> you just got clotheslines. So your your only thing you worry about is Florida wrestling. I'd say so, but even that, I mean, I've done enough. I was born in eighty three. Mm. But I, I was know. born in seventy nine. We're not that far <laughs> off. But you were seventy nine in seventy nine. Thirty's coming up. I spent enough time uh, like watching tapes, and I've done my history. Why? This Why is, would a young man waste his life I have watching completely. old wrestling tapes from the 70s? This is all I do. I have <laughs> literally thousands of wrestling tapes in my house. Now, Fez doesn't even have a VCR yet. He doesn't like <laughs> the new contraption. I don't believe in the new technology. I think it's a fad. He's always calling me at night telling me that he thinks his toaster's on fire. <laughs> and he unplugs everything. Fez when he goes to sleep, he unplugs the clock. Fez watches Gorgeous George on the viewfinder. <laughs> Oh, the, the youngsters are laughing at you. It's a view master. <laughs> Back in your day, it was. Uh, so what's uh, what are the restrictions for you, Fez? I have no restrictions. Not uh, at all. Territories up till today, to 2008. Look at to the 2008 <laughs> Royal what Rumble. Are you fucking glares at Sam. Like this matters, by the way. Oh, it matters. Oh yeah, it, it definitely matters. matters. All right, so who's going to put the questions together? That's what we got to do. You Who are we going to fucking trust? I think I we know. could trust I don't Earl, wanna... Pitsy, and Dave. Well, I mean, is that what you're looking for? If you're looking for a fucking rigged game, uh, we'll just, you know, we'll yell out uh, who's tougher, Fez or which one of Fez's brothers is throwing the, <laughs> the fucking bionic elbow. It's got to be somebody who knows wrestling that's not just going to Wikipedia and saying, right. oh, that's a fact, and because some of the stuff is not reliable. Yeah. Yeah. I, who's somebody that we know on the outside that we could all agree to? Do we have any friends that are wrestling trivia fans? That could put together a little uh, quiz for us. I'm trying to think. The twins are big wrestling fans. You talking about your balls? No. <laughs> Herbeck. I believe Flea Man is a big wrestling fan. Oh, oh I can't I depend on Flea. He's a fucking... All right, you just cost yourself a point oh, there. I'll write that down. I, I don't want this to be to 100. I can't <laughs> tell you how much of the boy the rest of it. And what's on the line here? What's going on on the line? I'd like that fro off of him. Well, that's the fucking up on A's gimmick. Yeah, exactly. Whoa! 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 Take, Whoa! Take, Take a little shot of Owen A. Oh, by the way, Owen A six to eleven beat Sam again. Face. Oh, no, face. it's actually face. Uh, six to twelve with bonus time. So well, I was I was that's including. Totally, no, you're not gonna, live programming. People are going to switch hour. off their radios. With and bonus <laughs> time. Six to eleven. Me, six to twelve. Their fucking radios are long off before mm -hmm. we come on. Right now, we could be doing this at my house. <laughs> <laughs> so we don't have anyone that you guys can gr agree on to put this uh, test together. No, I don't know anyone that that I would trust to put the questions. Then we're not doing the contest. <laughs> well, I don't know anyone offhand. <laughs> I can't sit here. We could contact somebody from the WWE to put it together. Oh, you'd love that, wouldn't you? Yeah. Because you have connections today. Mm -hmm. We're all fucking his, uh, Fez's connections left with Leaping Lanny Papa. <laughs> now, here's somebody, a very good friend of mine, that might be perfect for this. Mm -hmm. Mr. Fairplay, you're on the Ron of Fez show. Oh. Hey, there, is, does that sound like an idea? I put together some questions for you guys. Go back. Uh, what's the starting point? I say the starting point is Jesus and the Apostles, <laughs> the original NWO. All right, so, so we're going back to the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. Yes, <laughs> early on, the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. Real first century stuff. Perfect, perfect. Now, uh, I'm going to be in New York. Uh, I'm doing a show on another satellite 
place uh, for Survivor next Thursday. Mm-hmm. Uh, but uh, I'm going to be in New York. So how about uh, how about Friday? I next Friday definitely. I like the idea of Johnny Fairplay. We let the other satellite company pay his way into town, put him up, and then we <laughs> steal him for a big wrestling contest. I love it. I trust Johnny Fairplay. Now, Fez, you want to go with a high ankle strain or whatever to get out of this? <laughs> no, I won't be walking around with a boot on my foot. Here's the difference. Sam wants it. Uh, and then two, at your age, so many brain cells have died that I don't know whether you're going to remember things that you should know. Oh, Sam doesn't know how bad I want this. Yeah. You better want right, it bad. How, how many questions should I put together? Uh, that's a very good one here. What do we say? We go 20, 25 questions? Yeah, I was going to say more like 30 because we've had times where we, we've gone to like 2021, 20, but then yeah. we, we need overtime, and 30 okay. is, we'll cover the so overtime. Like 30 questions will start, uh, start uh, well, according to WWE, it all started when uh, Hogan pinned uh, the Iron Sheik, so nothing before then. Hogan pins the Iron Sheik. Do you no. guys comfortable before that? I'm comfortable before that. We could even go before it. Uh, let's say 68 starts it all. It'll be 40 years of wrestling. <laughs> Very nice. Gene Kaninsky, Big Thunder, as the NWA well, give champion. Me, give me a year. Give me a year, uh, Sam. Well, I say, let's, let's start 1980. Yeah, I was going to say 80. If we, right. but, year of your birth. Let's try to make it, uh, like, throughout the, throughout the years, let's make it not... 80s heavy or 90s heavy. That's a nice, even distribution throughout the nice, years. Uh, no, well, no I'm going to tell you problem. something else. Johnny Fairplay is a prof- uh, professor of wrestling. Mm-hmm. He's not just a wrestling manager. This is a guy who grew up loving wrestling, still loves angles to this day. So I think we can all uh, trust Johnny. I trust Johnny Fairplay. I absolutely yeah. trust Johnny. He's a new dad. I trust him. Uh, one of the things, though, uh, no questions about blacks. Do we do that? To, uh, oh, please. <laughs> please. It only makes sense. You want to keep this class? The SD stood for what? An SD Jones. So, awesome, guys. All so, right, uh, we'll, yeah. uh, we'll be in touch with you. Okay, awesome. All right, so, talk good to you luck, later. Good luck. Uh, study up, guys, and uh, be ready. All right, peace. Thanks, Johnny Fairplay. Now, between the two of you. T- um, over here to No Name. You're on Run of Fez. Hello. Yes, go ahead, New Mexico. I uh, I was gonna see what Earl thought about uh, Harlem Heat. I hadn't heard anything about that. Earl, you love the Heat. Love the Heat. Booker Booker T and Stevie Ray. You know what their original names were when they were Harlem Heat and WCW? Don't know. Fez. Oh, look at Watley. I don't know. This thing's over. That is not over. They were introduced as Kent and Cole Harlem Heat. Can't believe you didn't know that. Mm. Some of us are stupid and old. (laughs) Maybe I'm just holding back. But you're not. <laughs> Maybe I knew. But you didn't. Maybe I did. I don't think you did. Mm-hmm. We'll see Let's what go. happens. I, I don't even fucking do this. No, we I are doing this. this. I get, agreed to this. I, ha- I can't have the show get embarrassed. I agreed to this. Did, I am in. Did we come up with uh, uh, what's going to be the prize? No, we haven't come up with that yet. All right, what about this? Loser. Mm-hmm. We'll stay with the gold dust gimmick. You got to dress up like gold dust. Walk up and down 57th. Uh, would, uh, yep. You'll do it? I'll do it. I'll, I will do it. <laughs> yes. Somebody can get me a gold dust, dude. I'm in, baby. Well, you'll do it anyway. <laughs> I have a feeling there's a lot of Friday and Saturday nights you're dressed up like gold dust. Yeah, but he has, he has to dress up as blue dust. The blue meanies gold oh, dust. That was great. All right. Uh, you, uh, <laughs> come on in here. Come on in, Stover. Uh, he has a correction. And even though you're the, the new kid uh, in town, yeah, they come newer. Our own Stover here. <laughs> is it Harlem Heat? Yes, how you doing? It was Kane and Cole, That's, wasn't it? No, his yes, name was, was Stover. It was Kane and All right, Cole. I corrected myself. And also, uh, Ahmed Johnson, uh, yeah. Pearl River Plunge. Was his finishing move. He was the Pearl River Powerhouse. No, he wasn't known as the Pearl River Powerhouse. All right, go back to the tapes and tell me what Vince McMahon called him. I don't the remember. Pearl River Powerhouse. <laughs> I don't remember that at all. <laughs> I didn't think you so. Do think, you think this kid is shit? Is that what you're saying, Stover? I'm going to say he's shit just like his <laughs> afro is shit. <laughs> oh! <laughs> him, uh, him and that struck match, they're both shit. That's what oh! I'm <laughs> There's still room in Afro Wars. <laughs> There's still room. I don't see there anything is? else competing. 
Well, I, I'm fucking glad you came in and corrected this fucking Johnny come lately. <laughs> I didn't get corrected. Anytime. I corrected him. No. He's, I, he's coming in faulted for... He wasn't the Pearl River powerhouse. Like, somebody's going to tell me that Ahmed Johnson was not the Pearl River I powerhouse. Just did. You fucking Ooh. said Kent and Cole, no, which I, I believe is was, a shoe. That was a slip-up. It is. A slip up, but Kane and Cole is what I meant. Mm -hmm. There can't be slip-ups next Friday, Sam. Oh, there won't be. <laughs> Or you'll yeah. be or you'll be gold dusting it down uh, 57th Street, man. I'm gonna shatter your dreams. <laughs> good one. <laughs> good one. Dreams, gold dust. <laughs> yeah, I picked up on it. Yeah. I thought that was stupidly clever. <laughs> Thank you. All right, let's get this started. Uh, Fezzi, you claim that you know more wrestling trivia than anybody, and then anyone, especially. Yeah. I am the XM202 virus wrestling expert. Well, uh, Sam, you disagree. You had no life as a child, right? No, I still have no life to this day. And you sit around watching wrestling tapes? All the time. Johnny, you were the same way as a kid? You yeah, focused on wrestling very heavily? Absolutely. Every, uh, I, I would, uh, in, it, in like the, the 80s boom, I was uh, averaging about 16 hours a week. But the difference was you still slept with women, where yes. these two, uh, yeah. no interest whatsoever. Exactly. We stuck with the <laughs> wrestling, Ron. Well, I have a question. Sam, how many times have you been invited to Bobby Heenan's Christmas party? I have yet to be invited to Bobby Heenan's Christmas uh, party. Uh, Fez? Really? I've been to three. Oh. <laughs> 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 We're to today. Point have, Fez! Have you ever been on a wrestling cruise? <laughs> no, I've never been on a wrestling cruise. Fez? <laughs> yes, I was on a bruise cruise with uh, Bobby Heenan, Gorilla Monsoon, and Jerry Briscoe. Really, how old are you? That these <laughs> things, you, do, you do anything since the 70s? <laughs> I've done stuff. All right, so what are the rules here? Uh, each question is worth one point. Uh -huh. If the person is incorrect, the other contestant gets to steal the point, and the first person to ten wins. Should I go smoke during this <laughs> idiot? <laughs> no, you're going to want to say this. I don't really want, though. It's okay. going to be great. Well, how, how about this? We'll, we'll try with the practice question just to, just to show you how hardcore we're going with this. And, okay. And, and, okay. I, and I'd like to say that the questions were provided by ProWrestling.net, the newest wrestling website. Uh, they do their official launch on Monday. So ProWrestling.net. Oh, wow, nice. Uh, yeah. All right. I, I, you know, I bring out the big This guns. is exclusive. Yeah. So, nice. So the first practice question, and uh, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll start with Fez. Okay. Okay. What WWF legend went on the Arsenio Hall show and claimed he would become the first black WWF champion. I would say that's Junkyard Doug. Damn! Incorrect. Sam to steal. I will say... Coco Beware. Damn! I didn't know we were doing Arsenio Hall trivia. Uh, the answer is the African Dream, Akeem. Akeem! Oh. <laughs> Arsenio we, did not find the humor in him saying that. Yeah. <laughs> I guess and, not. And we would have accepted one man gang. Yeah. <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> All right, let's get this thing started. Well, this could take a long time. Yeah. You both stink. I didn't care for the practice question. Yeah. So, right, well, that, that was a hard one. We're, we're starting off easier to harder. So, okay. you know, uh, we're, we're going to have a coin flip. So, yeah. uh, who's going to call it? Sam can call Sam's it. the visitor. Ladies first. Oh. <laughs> Heads. Ready? Heads. Tails. All right, I'll take the first question. All right. Fez, for one point, name the popular wrestler who replaced an injured Chris Candido and defeated Lance Storm at ECW's first pay-per-view, Barely Legal. Replace Chris Candido? I'm going to say Tommy Dreamer. Damn! Oh, <clears throat> that's easy. Sam to steal. It was Rob Van Dam. Woo! Oh! Are Wait, these the I, practice question? You know, I'm not. I'm not uh, understanding the correct and incorrect. What is correct? Correct is. Woo! And incorrect. Damn. Okay. Clever. Now I got it. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Pitsy. Pitsy's my man. Yeah, Pitsy's your guy. <laughs> okay. Question number two. So does this go to Sam? Yeah, now it goes to Sam. Okay. Oh, geez. Here we go. What was Barry Windham's nickname when he returned to the WWF as a singles wrestler following his stint in the U.S. Express Tag Team? Was this the Widowmaker? Woo! Sam, did you know that with Fez? That one I knew. Oh, so did I. I should have lost the coin toss. He What's that, Dave? Uh, this looks tough. Sam's up 2 0. 2 0. Flying start. Wow. I wish the Midnight Rider was here to help Fez. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Daddy! It. <laughs> Question number three. Which one of the following celebrities did not appear at WrestleMania 2? Ricky Schroeder, 
Ray Charles, Emmanuel Lewis, Clara Where's the Beef Peller, Susan St. James, Dick Butkus, or Joan Rivers? Wow. I am going to say Ricky Schroeder. Damn! I will say Ray Charles. Damn! Oh. The correct answer was Emmanuel Lewis. Webster was not at WrestleMania. Oh, okay. I would have thought for sure someone carried him in like Michael Jackson. <laughs> I thought we all knew he wasn't there. <laughs> <laughs> know that. Question number four. Uh, whose is this? This is Sam. Sam. Okay. What was the Ultimate Warrior's name when he wrestled in World Class Championship Wrestling prior to his WWF debut? The Dingo Warrior. Woo! I'm getting, he's getting wrestling questions, I'm getting celebrity questions. I would find, I find having to say the term the Dingo Warrior the most embarrassing thing yeah. any young man could say. How could you forget it though? <laughs> Good wow. point. Three zip. The Dingo Three Warrior zero, could have been Sam. He could have been the greatest gay porn star ever. No <laughs> kidding. Sure. Uh, You're down three points here, uh, Fez. Pivotal point. Fez dust is what I'll it, call him. The whole, <laughs> Pitsy put the put the questions in order. So, oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'll hear that later. Yeah, but I think we I think we might be looking at a trade. All right, here we go. Who's is this? Fez. Fez. Okay. Which wrestler jumped from WWF and debuted on the first Monday Nitro? Jump from the WWF and debuted on the first Monday Nitro. I'll say Ravishing Rick Rude. Oh. Damn. Yeah. Damn. I thought you watched wrestling. Uh -oh. I watch wrestling. It was Lex Luger. Woo! Oh, Jesus this Christ. is the fucking latest Three's Company. <laughs> <laughs> you I know Three's stink. Company. 4 0 Sam Roberts. Woo! I, I'd like to just call this. this yeah, is just, I, I, you want I'm to, not out of it he's yet. He's bleeding. Is this slaughter rule? Yeah. Oh, my God. And it's Sam's question. Oh. Yes, it is. It's my game. Wow. Which two wrestlers fought for the WCW title that Ric Flair vacated when he left the company and signed with the WWF? Hmm. I will say Sting. And Sting. Barry Windham. <laughs> Damn! It's yours to steal. Come on. I'm going to say Barry Windham and Lex Luger. Woo! Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Come back, oh, yeah. kid! Yeah. Come back, kid! Come there on, you go. Oh, my God. I love this. is great. This is, yeah. this is why I'm here. Luger right managed here. by Harley Race. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> if you want to give an extra. <laughs> I, I, I actually I, I went to a, a WCW match at the Greensboro Coliseum, uh, the, the next tapings they had there. And uh, Doug Dillinger's there and, and you know outside the parking lot. And like we're waiting for the wrestlers to leave. He's like, hey, everyone's gone. What are you guys waiting for? And I'm like, for Ric Flair to bring the belt back. And he goes, we all are kids. We all are. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, next question. For Fez. For Fez. Who wrestled as the executioner and was pinned by Tito Santana in the opening match at the first WrestleMania? As the executioner. Um, Iron Mike Sharp? Damn! Uh, for a brief moment, we had Cam. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> WrestleMania 1. I will say the only executioner that I know in Terry Bam Bam Gordy. Damn! <laughs> He, he was the executioner, he, he but, that, but but the first WrestleMania was Playboy Buddy Rose, oh. hmm. who Playboy showed up Buddy last Rose. who showed up last minute, put on a hood, and actually put tape over the uh, the Buddy Rose <laughs> on, on, on his uh, shoes. That's <laughs> all he had. <laughs> Just tape that up. We're ready to go. Tape it up, we're ready, <laughs> That's only WrestleMania. Yeah, <laughs> right. Score remains four to one. Sam in control okay. with, with with his question. Yeah, we understand that. No. Oh. <laughs> Who was the infamous heel referee who pinned Davy Boy Smith in a six-man tag match at WrestleMania three? Danny Davis. Woo! Five one. Yeah, I know all of Sam's. Uh, honestly, I, I he's like I, Obama. I, he is like I, Obama right now. <laughs> I, I think I think he should have said dastardly Danny Davis, but we'll, mm. I'll give you credit. I think it was dangerous. Okay, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to help you, Fez. <laughs> okay, next question for Fez. Where was the first Monday Nitro event held? The first Monday Nitro event was held in Orlando, Florida. Damn! Well, Fez, the first Monday Nitro was uh, actually held in the Mall of America. Woo! And, and what city would that be in? 
What say is the Mall of America? Now we're doing mall <laughs> trivia. Well, no, I, I, have, I have here the Mall of America in. That's a two. That should be two points then. That's a two part. That's not a two. What, finish, finish your answer. I will guess the Mall of America is in <laughs> St. Louis. What do I know where the Mall of America is? <laughs> I can steal that back. <laughs> Minneapolis. <laughs> Minneapolis, Minneapolis, no, Minnesota. Actually, Bloomington. Oh, I didn't know that. Really, I was in Minneapolis, uh, Bloomington, so Bloomington, Minnesota. That's so we giving it to him for uh, Mall of America. No. Yeah, come on. Yeah, I I think no, I say no. That's right. We can't do Mall of America. <laughs> Mall of hey, America. All right, fine. R R Ronnie, I, Ronnie, I, I think uh, you know. Okay. I'm not I'll leave it to Lily, and I'll stay out of it because I give him the point. Yes, oh, right. Oh, really, wow. Lily. What's it? Well, Creative team. By the yeah. way, she looks fantastic today. <laughs> yes, she right. the sweater, the hair. I've never seen her before. She's hot. Yeah, she is hot. Like, I want to work out, you know, a little three-way dance. Yes, you know? well, <laughs> right now Ann has her, but when he's done, yeah. <laughs> Six one, Sam. Oh, this is ugly. This is ugly. Okay, Who, uh, Sam's question. Is that right? Yep. Yes. Okay. Yep. Jesus. Sorry. <laughs> what name did Eric Coolis use in his only ECW appearance when he was grotesquely bladed by New Jack? Mass Transit. Fuck. Woo! <laughs> That's what you yes. got in that one. I, I actually knew that one. He was yeah, the seventeen-year-old right. kid, yeah. right? Yeah. All right. They got scarred up. Sorry. Yeah, and his father screamed, "He's only seventeen. All right. What was the name of the children's game that Eric Bischoff and Sonny Ono marketed on AWA television, which led to Uncle Eric's first job in professional wrestling? <laughs> The name of the game <laughs> Eric Bischoff and Sonny Ono marketed in the AWA. Yes. This is, this is like the last of the AWA. I guess so. Uh, Wrestle Fun. I have no <laughs> idea. <laughs> oh, I thought that was correct. <laughs> Sam to Steel. I'll go with Wrestle Orama. Damn. <laughs> if I heard a woo, I was going <laughs> to. <Yeah. laughs> Ninja Star Wars. Never heard of and, it. And, well, and, and Eric Bischoff would later go on to do the Blood Runs Cold Glacier gimmick. You know, he, he, he was always into that ninja thing. Loves ninjas. Loves ninjas. Because <laughs> he uh, does cry to himself. Yeah. True. Well, there, there's money in ninjas. There sure. Really is. So who, who doesn't want a throwing star? I mean, honestly. It works. It works. I think Wrestle Rama was closer. <laughs> <laughs> Lily? <laughs> no. She's not paying attention. <laughs> right? This is, this, is, this is no skirts allowed, huh? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Who did Paul Heyman replace as the booker of Eastern Championship Wrestling, which later became Extreme Championship Wrestling under his direction? I'll say Eddie Gilbert. Woo! Look at me! <laughs> look wow. at me! Oh, We're looking at you. I, 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 Who wants the I, expert I of 202? <laughs> I would have bet money you would have said Wait, Todd Gordon. Was that enthusiasm? I couldn't tell. <laughs> yes. Almost. Eight to hey, one. Hey, I'm louder, <laughs> but I still have the same dull cadence. <laughs> <laughs> no. Eight to one, Sam. All right, five Eight to one. Then. Come on, Watley. Do you, you have, know what? Today you should cry. Do you have a seven <laughs> point question? <laughs> yes, this one's for seven. <laughs> All right. Mm. Which former WWE Spanish broadcaster was married to Wendy Richter? Former WWE Spanish broadcaster. Uh, Pedro Morales. Damn! Do you even have cable? <laughs> yes, I have cable. I'm not getting wrestling questions. <laughs> I'm getting board game questions. I'm getting who, who's marrying Spanish people questions. Sam to steal. I will say Hugo Savinovich. Oh. <laughs> yeah! No! 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 Spanish announcer. Nine to one. The only Woo! other one was Lillian Garcia. Arriba! <laughs> you know what? I just like to say to all those bitches on Whackbag to think that they could take this kid on. I don't think it could be done. No, He's the best something. I've ever seen. The message boards all said it. Sam is a kid who just sits around and watches WWE 24-7 and knows a bunch of post-Stone Cold stuff. My tape library invented WWE 24-7. <laughs> It's louder, but it's the same cadence. <laughs> yeah, it's still one tone. tone. Yeah. Listen to me, everyone. Look. I have some kind of energy. I have a 9 to 1 lead. I am the expert. Shit. Wow. And this is his question, right? Yep. He so can win here? <laughs> yeah, Sam gets this correct, he wins. Yeah, baby. All right, we're, we're gonna do a little chicanery here. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> miss it, miss it, miss it, miss it. This is. 
What names did Scott Hall and Dan Spivey use when they were teamed together as American Starship? Uh, I, the Midnight Cowboy and Waylon Mercy. Damn! Scott Hall and Spivey, American Starship. One was Eagle and one was Wolf. <sighs> Damn! Now stop mixing up those questions and give me the question I deserve. We ain't going to get them right anyway. Starship Ooh. Coyote and Starship Eagle. Oh, Coyote and Eagle. Ugh. Wolf, Wolf's American Gladiators. All right. All right, my question. I'm still alive. Okay. What legendary boxer appeared in Mr. T's corner for his boxing match against Roddy Piper at WrestleMania 2? Was that, uh... George Foreman? Damn! For, for the title. Um, I'll say Joe Lewis. Damn! Yes! Frazier. Was it Frazier? Joe Frazier. That's who it was. And, and Lou Duva was in Piper's Corner. I was two years old, for the record. Well, I thought you had, I thought you had tapes. <laughs> I do have a lot of tapes. I don't have time to sit around and watch WrestleMania 2 all day. <laughs> okay, this this is it. This is uh, keeping them in a we're not We're not digging from the bottom on this one. Trying to help. <laughs> Which female wrestling personality did Vince McMahon briefly hire to serve as a replacement for Roddy Piper as the host of a weekly interview segment? And what was the segment called? Adrian Adonis' Flower Shop. Damn! To steal. All right, read, read it again, please. Which female wrestling personality did Vesic Man briefly hire to serve as a replacement for Roddy Piper as the host of a weekly interview segment, and what was the segment called? I'm going to say the fabulous moolah and... Go ahead and damn it. The dollar <laughs> sign. <laughs> briefly <laughs> hire. Mula was one of the longest was the longest running champion of all time. But Breeze. to do an interview well, segment, well, don't mock Sam. him out. He's retarded. <laughs> I <Sam>. am not <laughs> retarded. <laughs> Missy Hyatt hosted one edition of Missy's Manor, oh. which was hyped in a WWF magazine article. However, the segment went so poorly that Missy Man asked her to become a WWF federette slash ring girl, and she refused. That's more trivia. Missy Hyatt information than I needed. <laughs> all right. Back to Fez. Okay. Back. Which current main event wrestler left the ECW arena because he was offended by the crucifixion angle involving Raven and the Sandman? All right. I am going to say... Repeat the question, please. Okay. <laughs> he doesn't know any of these. No. <laughs> no. Which current main event wrestler left the ECW arena... arena because he was offended by the crucifixion angle involving Raven and the Sandman. Shawn Michaels. Damn! I could beat you with this. The correct answer is your Olympic hero, Kurt Angle. Woo! 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 Well, I, I told you I was the expert of 202. At you least barely it, beat me. At least it was close. There he is with his belt. <laughs> I will wear this belt every day so we all remember who is the wrestling expert. At oh. least it's not a kid's belt. Oh, wait. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it's still too big. Wow. It's a spinner belt, too. You know what? Uh, because of this, now you're off the podcast. That's the end of that. <laughs> wow. The mighty have fallen. Jeez. Well, there goes the last of the pride. <laughs> that was unbelievable, Fez. I am shocked. Can I follow Fez Dust around with the belt? Yeah, of course there? you can. <laughs> right. Mock him out all day if you want. So now I will have to dress as Fez Dust, uh, Gold Dust parody. You couldn't even keep it close enough to make it fun radio. <laughs> it was what? just a blowout. I have more questions that I didn't ask than I asked. Bears Patriots was closer. I knew his. I knew yours and mine. Oh. Oh. The worst thing was winning the toss. Oh, what a mockery. Jesus. What a mockery. <laughs> When's the last time you had a good day, Watley? And I'm it's, being totally serious. I think it's been a good 10, 12 years now. Look at him. He's just carrying it around, <laughs> enjoying himself. I it's understand. more like dead weight for her. Hey, you want to know some mathematics? You should have seen how bad my friend Fez lost today. <laughs> <laughs> 10 to 1. Wow. We understand the score. No. It's been stated. 10 to 1. You didn't get two or three points? Ten to one! Wow. One! We I, understand. Against Sam. Yes, Sam. That, this, uh, honestly, is uh, worse than what happened before during Three's Company trivia. <laughs> At least then you had the balls to leave. Ten, <laughs> ten to two! <laughs>
I got company. more than two on Ted three's company. And Sam company. is walking around everywhere with that goddamn uh, thing. With his toy belt. <laughs> now, you, now you see why I want to uh, make the trade for Sam and Than. Mm-hmm. Winners. They are winners. <laughs> Gonna be blowing uh, gold go dust and shit on the street. Are you gonna what? be blowing gold dust? You gotta, you gotta get dust and blow. Go, <laughs> go dust. Go dust. Yes, yeah, I'll be go dust. Go dust. Dot com. <laughs> Super Bowl commercial <laughs> <laughs> with a uh, cat cool coming in. <laughs> Fuzzy, today uh, you're gonna finally do a stunt. This is the first one in a while. You got uh, dominated by Sam and Sam. In wrestling trivia. Sure, two guess on one. It was one of those things where you don't know what you used to know years ago? I guess so. I mean, I thought I was prepared. I thought I had all the memory of wrestling in my head. And then as it went on, I did freeze up more and more. I, my brain locked up. Here's one of the ones that you actually miss. What do you wrestle in? And we would have accepted ring or squared circle. And uh, you missed it. Yeah. You said you... Uh, you wrestle in that TV set. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, brain freeze. You know, it's the yeah. first thing that came to my mind. There was pressure on me. Do you remember how I used to be uh, Mikey Boy, where he would be Mr. Wrestling? Oh, yeah. You, the people would call in and no one could stump him. Or no. Yeah. You, have to give, you were giving away a prize and people could stump him and nobody could. Nobody could do it. And I would put out cars. All right, we have a goddamn car to give away. Nobody would win. I did it nine times in a row. Oh, oh boy. Ten, 10 to 1. And Sam's much younger, too. Like you Much, should... much younger. <laughs> Not that much. You think some of the older stuff. You would I know. Edge, but no. And no what, Sam, what do you do? You sit at home and you look at old fucking kinescopes of wrestling? I just watch wrestling all the time. It's, uh, I got tapes. I got whatever the 24 7 network is, but it's not It's not just limited to what they give me. I find it. Yeah, you go looking for it. Yeah. Demands it from on demand. How's your chick doing? <laughs> your chick doing all right, okay? Yeah, she's fine. You asked. <laughs> Twice yesterday. I don't know. I'm just checking in. Everything good. okay with her? She's good. She got itchy feet. She ready to move? She ready to try new things? <laughs> like, what? No, she's you know doing what she's doing. She's That's doing. great. Yeah. And she likes the wrestling as well. She's uh she's learned through osmosis. Yeah. You know. I mean, she knows. She probably could beat Fez in a wrestling trivia contest. Oh. Now that, uh, I doubt that. Yeah. He's dating, by the way, Fabulous Moolah. <laughs> oh no. Oh. Who is that? I didn't know. His girlfriend. Is. I was tricked into this. Is the other old lady still alive that used to come around out with Mullen? May Young, yeah, yeah. she is. She's going oh, into the Sam Hall of Fame everything. this year. Sam knows everything. Yep. He knows if May Young is alive. That's not everything. Ten to one. Ten to one. And some of the questions I got. Who's married to who? <laughs> Mall of America. Yeah, but I got those right. We gave you the Mall of America. <laughs> that was the one that you got. I forced that into being okay. Mm-hmm. Let's just accept it. <laughs> <laughs> Ridiculous. That was your one. Ridiculous questions from Johnny Fairplay. What do you feel like? You were cheated? I feel like, well, I mean, I'll take my part of the responsibility, but I thought I got the bad round of questions. Dave's got excuses. Fez has excuses. I know. It's the excuse mm. show. You want to double down? Loser leaves? Loser leaves do it too? No, I'd rather not. <laughs> I'm just going to pay my gold dust bet off today. Now, where are we doing this? Out on 57th Street? Yeah. We'll do it out on 57th Street. We'll head out uh, down to the corner away from the front of the building. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Smart idea. Yeah. Keep it away from us. Exactly. What do you do as gold? Are you going to be wrestling people in the street? No, I'll just be out there, you know, b- being gold dust, you know. I don't, re- I don't know who gold dust really you is. You know, meeting people, that sort of thing. I will say this, though. I'll be out there with Fez, and I have my belt, so if anybody wants to come and get a picture with the wrestling expert at oh. 202, okay. it should well, be great. I doubt there'll be a rush. Well, but, uh, you know, a lot of little kids are going to want to do it. People bringing little kids. Come meet the champ. Yeah. It's a touristy area. You know, we're in Midtown. Finally, the champ has come back to the quarter of 57th and 6th. Yeah. To the Delta Diner. Why you do this, Watley? You find at least one person to wrestle. Just get some <laughs> fucking person. You fucking take them down and kick their ass. I'm going to have to and find a little your... old lady person. Why? You don't think you can beat a man? I don't know. I get winded quick. I don't want. The hell is this bragging? <laughs> I've never heard somebody yell out. I don't know. I get winded quick. This is the, the worst. That's the worst wrestling promo anyone's ever cut. You're stronger than you think. I'll be. I'll be exhausted on you this Tuesday night. It's my finisher.
Hey, now, Fez, how long does it take you to get dressed? Because we want to be out there at 2. I'd today. say probably about 10 minutes. 10, right, 12 so minutes it should take you me. You probably, in 10 minutes, I want you to go on your way. And what are you going to be wearing as this uh, wrestling character? Well, I'll be, of course, in gold dust makeup, gold and black makeup. Mm -hmm. I'll have the blonde wig and the gold spandex. Now, what was gold dust's era? What are we talking about here? He started in 1996. So this is a 1996 joke. Yeah, I mean, he was big. He was, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Was big in 96. That was the right? debut. Yeah. yeah. So if this was 1996, we would be doing a 1984 joke. <laughs> right. 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 Okay. So he would be dressing up as JYD. <laughs> sure. But I mean, okay. both were very successful. I just want to point out how poorly run this radio promotion is. <laughs> I think it's because there's nobody around that wears gold spandex and gold paint. So. Hey. Now, you are going to be down there with us, Sam? Absolutely. I wouldn't and miss this for the world. What is your role going to be? Well, I'll be there uh, kind of letting people know I'm the wrestling expert. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm the reason that Fez Dust is there. I'm going to head down with you guys. Okay. And if I make sure that this thing is funny, I'm hopping in a cab and heading home. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> do everything we can not to have people notice that. Okay. Yeah. Earl, we need to break here. All right, we'll take a break. Uh, when we come back, we are uh, will be on Fifty uh, Seventh Street and Sixth Avenue in Manhattan as we watch Fez pay off his bet as Gold Dust. It's the Ron and Fez show. Uh, the Ron and Fez show out on the street right now on Fifty Seventh Avenue. Uh, I'm standing out here and still no Fez Watley. And I also have that feeling that you would have in high school where they would uh, ring the fire alarm and everyone would walk out into the parking lot. And then you would think, why am I? I'm so close to home. I'm just leaving. There is no reason now that I'm outside the building that I want to stay anymore. Um, Dave, do you know where um, Fez Dust is? Fez Dust, I believe, is still upstairs, just letting the magic uh, consume him. And who bitched and said that he wasn't going to be ready in time? Was that not me? That was Ron Bennington. Yeah, so now I'm standing out here with a, uh, a microphone. Uh, Earl, can you hear me in the studio? Yes, I can. I can hear you loud and clear. Is Fez on the way down yet? I mean, Fez Dust? He's still getting ready and still getting all prepped up and trying to look as glamorous as he can be. Yeah. Uh, run a mic back to him because I want to get his ass down here. Even if he's only halfway done. Hey, Earl, Ronnie. Uh, Fez? Yes. I'm down here. Where are you? I'm just putting the final touches on this. It's a lot more gold than I expected. Guess what? No what? final touches. Come on down. Come well, on down just uh, as finished as you are right now. Well, I just wanted it to be perfect. Now, I, I never did the walkover with ONA. What's with the stupid thing that Hicks is pushing around? It's embarrassing, isn't it? it really, this contraption that they have put together, that I, I, and then they have to follow us like that? Yeah, it looks like the uh, new laser gun that the Army has. They showed on 60 Minutes. It looks like a homeless electronics man. Uh, he's, got, <laughs> he's got nowhere to go. All right, get down here, Fuzzy, because it's right. very stupid for me. People are looking at me, and I got nothing to sell. I'll be down in just a second. Yeah. All right. So um, now, Sam and Sam are over here. You're familiar with the Gold Dust character? Very familiar. Yeah. Is this even going to be slightly amusing or an embarrassment? Well, I think I think it will be slightly amusing, at least. Slightly. At least. All right. That's not even a word. So, you are you ready? If I catch a cab, are you ready to just handle this? to the end of the show because I really am outside now and there's no reason to, to stay anymore. It's a nice day, Rod. Yeah. I mean, you, you have a nice lunch ahead of you. And my other problem is I can't wear a hat with my headphones and I'd really like to go. All right, waiting for uh, Fez Dust to come walking out of here and be able to deliver the fact that uh, hopefully people on 57th Street will think that he is gold dust. Um... It may be one of the worst things done in the history of radio. I don't see it being even slightly funny. Do you, Dave? Well, it's the older gentleman in a gold costume. I think there's something humorous about that. Yeah. Face painting. Face painting. The long tradition of face painting on the radio. Nothing more enjoyable than that. Yeah. Uh, you know what I hate, too? He's on his way down here. If somebody gets stuck in an elevator with him, just traveling <laughs> down, and he's... uh. Why the long hair for Gold Dust? So, someone showed me a picture 
of uh, what Goldust looks like. Why would Goldust have long hair? He was Hollywood, you know. He's like old school Hollywood. So he came out with the big robe with the. All right, here hair. he comes, and I'm I'm actually fucking running <laughs> because it's so embarrassing looking. All right, here comes Goldust Yay! out into the street. Right, surrounded it's on a shattered dreams production yeah Fast dust is here yeah it's what you've been waiting for yeah and you will remember the name of Fez dust. all right this is an embarrassment let's get away from our building Fez dust this is an absolute embarrassment Fez dust here in New York City I'll tell you what. Yeah. Fez, don't, don't look at me when you talk. Fez, I don't want people to think I'm with you. Fez thought spandex would have been a little warmer. All right, look at this woman's shocked over here. Sapphire, how are you? <laughs> Ma'am, are you surprised to see Fez dust out here on the street? I certainly am. Yeah. What is this? The, uh, the point here to get the mic on, on her, uh, please. Uh, this is Fez dust, and he's the hottest thing in Hollywood right now. Yeah. What do you think? <laughs> well, if you're the hottest thing, be hot. Oh! Oh, um, no, you did. Oh, yeah, she yes, did. did. <laughs> All right. Thank you, ma'am. Thanks. Yeah, there she goes. I never understand carrying a cane and not using it. I, it's, a, <laughs> it's one way or the other. I have people getting some nice shots. The paparazzi has gathered yeah. around Fez Dust. Yes, they're all here for Fez Dust. Yeah. Uh, Fez does meeting people as we come along, some impressed and some acting like, I can't believe this asshole's blocking traffic. There's a man with a limp who's now running. Yeah, <laughs> it is. And he, he's. And he can't even do it. Yeah. They're so, just all enthralled with Fez Dust. Hello, ladies. Did you want to go over and meet him, Fez Dust? Yes. Uh, Where are you ladies from? Yes. We're at the Buckingham now. Yeah. And I'm from Russia. Russia. Man, oh. in a golden do you know suit, Nikolai Volkov? <laughs> or, no, it's rather a lady. Mm, Ivan yeah. Cola. Uh, yeah. What do you want to tell what? me? No, no one. None of them. They don't I, know any of the old Russian wrestlers. One of the Russian ladies has run back into the hotel oh. to get away from Fez dust. She's left. Yeah. I don't. I think you're the exact opposite of what popular is. <laughs> Normally, people draw crowds. You're actually pushing them away. Wait a minute. I believe there's a character change coming. Uh-oh. Character change for Fez Dust. I believe it's Hulk Dust. Ooh, yeah. The Hulk Dust. Hulk Dust. <laughs> Hulk Dust running wild on 57th is there, Street. Is there any uh, Is there any sense to that? No, there's, uh, there's no correlation between Hulk Hogan and Gold Dust. All right. <laughs> Why are you doing that, Fez Dust? When, Fe when Fez Dust would turn into the different wrestlers, but with dust on their name. I see. That was much Not later. really at all. Yeah. All right, let's move away from our building. Let's keep heading down uh, to the corner here. Um, literally, uh, it, you look around in New York and you would think that people would be somehow impressed with a person in a gold suit. No one cares. A lot of people just going about their business. Yeah. You know, like if you did this in Oklahoma, it would make the paper. But uh, <laughs> in New York, they're like, Has somebody moved the fag with the fucking gold face before I blow him away. Uh, gold dust bringing some heat to himself. I want somebody to actually believe that it's the real gold dust. That would be my favorite out of all this. Here's some uh, folks at all not really uh, caring. Fez dust, everyone! Fez dust! Everyone meet gold dust. WrestleMania coming up in Orlando, Florida. <laughs> Petition to have me put in the Hall of Fame. People are oh. walking into the street nice to stay talk. away from uh, <laughs> Fez Dust. Here's a gentleman. Looks like he's interested. Uh, sir, did you know his Gold Dust was in town? No, don't want any part of it, huh? All right, there he goes. Not you interested. will remember the name. I don't think so. A Fez Dust. Yeah. People going out of their way not to look at Gold Dust as we sit here. Hello, sir. Yeah. How you doing? I'm yes. Fez Dust. And I'm the Hulk star. Oh, really? Yes. Face. Face. We both let ourselves go. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's great <laughs> interaction. That was a long us. handshake. Yeah. <laughs> All right. It's great to I meet you. I think it was S.D. Jones. Yes. Well, you, you got to be. Yes, ma'am. I don't know. Yeah. I, what do you think of uh, all gold dust here? Magnificent. Magnificent? Oh, I think gold dust is just marvelous. I'm um, just marvelous? Yes. And where are you from, Emma? Are you local? 79th Street. 79th Street. You're doing well for yourself then. 
All right, there she goes. Thank you very much. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. 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 Oh, by the way, Elton John called. He wants the glasses back as soon as mm -hmm. possible. No, no, can't have them back. All right, thank you very much. Thank you, Moolah. There she goes, <laughs> the fabulous Moolah. The people you'll meet out here. You really that's never. That's all right, that's... get away from me. Be near. Uh, I don't really that's want to be that's... tied in with the. Uh, people are literally walking into 57th Street not to meet you, not to have anything to do with you at all. Pictures are available. Yeah. This is really an This is normally a very, very busy corner. Uh, not today. Especially in mid-afternoon. I don't understand yeah. what went wrong. Everyone taking Friday off. People walking into the bus lane mm. not to have anything to do with <laughs> Fez dust. Now, was there some place this was going to go to work uh, comedically? <laughs> Probably not. Yeah. <laughs> well, just do your Fez Dust thing for a while, and we'll watch you mm. from afar. The spandex is a little tight. It's starting to cut off some circulation around the gut area. Yeah. See if uh, people... Uh, here's somebody who wants to meet you, do Fez I Dust. Any, do I have Hello, enough? Fez Dust. How uh, are you? I'm doing really well. How are you doing? Uh -oh. Good. Where are you from? <laughs> Providence. Will you remember the name Fez Dust? Oh, absolutely. Thank you. I appreciate that. WrestleMania coming up in Orlando, Florida. All right, we are now in the corner of 57th Street and Bad Radio. If uh, you would like to come by and see Fez Dust. Fez the... Dust is here. I'm paying off my bet to Sam yeah. from the Sam and Sam show. I am the wrestling expert. Now, is he supposed to look like an Oscar? Is that the joke? An Oscar with long hair? Stop it, Dave. Stop it. Stop it. That's the, the crowd, crowd run. started. Yeah. That was the crowd. You know, I really want to see him meet some tourists, I think, might be the uh, gimmick. Now, were you planning on doing anything funny with this, Fuzz? I was planning. Yeah. The wig is awfully cumbersome. Yeah. <laughs> Could we assign one of the interns to help him with his yes. wig? Yes. Who do we have there? Hi. Yes. Hi, how are you? How are you? Good. Yeah. Fez dust. Fez dust. Okay, I'll remember. How can I forget? There you go. <laughs> See? Okay. All in gold. Yeah. Thank you. Where are you headed today? I'm, I'm in Delta. I'm working here. Delta. These Delta. Are, these are my buses. <laughs> yeah, US these are your buses. Trade. If you need, you need a car or a limousine, we got Always. It. Yeah. Fez dust always goes in style. Remember, right. for your traveling okay. needs, call Delta. Delta, now, everybody. U.S. Coachways. Oh, That's U.S. Coachways. Delta. These yeah. are my buses. Right. They're beautiful. You love them? Yeah. yeah gorgeous buses. <laughs> you have a gorgeous bus. Fezzy, why schlep to the airport when well, you can take a beautiful uh, coach we'll over right here? here. <laughs> you got a beautiful coach over here. What's it What's it cost right now to go to the airport? It's for free. For free? Yeah. All right. And could we get him on a plane, do you think? Would Where it be possible? Go? Anywhere. Anywhere. Maybe the Gold Coast of Florida. Mm -hmm. All right. Go in. Book it. Go in and book it. And we'll what? take you. Yeah. Would I make it through the metal detector like this? I don't know. I don't and remember, <laughs> when you want to travel, take a beautiful bus out to the airport and hop on Delta. Delta, taking you anywhere. All right, sir. Sure, right, I'll pose guys. with you. Yeah. I'll pose with you. Oh, where are you from, sir? Uh, Germany. From Germany. Oh, oh. Hey, sorry about that war, oh, no, but no. remember, <laughs> it took a lot of us to stop you. East or west? Yeah. Oh, so, sorry. What? Uh, uh, West Germany. West Germany. West Germany. Yeah. Great. Yay, finally, yeah. That's great. Well, uh, are you enjoying New York so far? Yes, very nice here. Yeah. Yes. It's a lot better than invading Poland, isn't it? <laughs> it's really nice. See how Warmer. nice we can all get along? Yeah. All right, okay. you're having your picture taken with Jew dust. There he is. Stand up next. There very you nice. go. Yeah. Okay. All right. Take care. Enjoy New York City, sir. Mm -hmm. Good luck next time around. All right. All right. Do you know my friend Anthony? Yeah. There he goes. Back to the Fatherland. Ah, oh, they're plotting something. You can tell. Yeah, sure. They're always. He's taking back pictures of Fez dust to the Fuhrer. Come by and meet Fez dust. Come on over, ma'am. You little hot bastard. Yeah, we'll get you. I tell you, I, there's a woman with a walker who went into the street not to meet gold dust. <laughs> Unbelievable. I don't understand what the unappeal is. I think it's because you're too close to the Delta bus. <laughs> that could Fez be that. It's overshadowing me. Yeah. Fez dust right now in the corner of 57th, and we thought this would be funnier. He's <laughs> just hanging out here. Uh, Earl, how long does this bit have to go on before the show's over? Um, we got to go to about 240. 
Uh, I don't have a clock, so you need to tell me. Um, it is now 2.22. we got about right. 19 minutes. Another 19 minutes of a failed bit uh, is going on, Goldust. Uh, even at this point, you're not glad that you won, are you? Not really. I got the belt, but it's barely a prize. Nobody it really seems is. to be wanting to meet the champ out here. Yeah. yeah. People coming by, yeah. hopefully they'll get the opportunity to meet Fez Dust. Gold meet the Dust champion. Is turning away all yeah. the champ's fans. Hello, I'm Fez Dust. Yeah. How are you? She's with us, so that oh. doesn't help. She's actually with the crew that came down here to watch this radio abortion. Yeah, the champion's here. How are you, sir? Where are you from? He doesn't want to be part of this, Dave. Stay away from him. Do your gimmick, Fez, and we'll all laugh. It's gold dust. Not to us, to strangers. Right. Try to meet some strangers. We've heard it. Yeah. We do already know it's not funny. Here they come across the street. Excuse me? Web.com. Okay, yes. Hey, my friend really likes you. Hello. Yes, I'm talking to special needs citizens out here. <laughs> yes. It's Fez Dust. Thank you. Great. You like Hi, that? Fez Dust. How are you? Hola. I'm Hola. Espanol. No, I speak French, though. Parlez vous français? Oh. Si. Je viens. Oh, si. Hey, good si. Si. Say we oui are français. Oui. Oui, oui. 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 I have to we. Oui. It's yeah. cold. <laughs> yeah, it's cold for me, too. Yes. But I'm from Montreal, so I find this like Miami, this weather. Mm. This is... You never heard of Montreal? I've heard of Montreal. Yeah, you got to come and visit us sometimes. Oh, great. Not, you got, not you since Chino Bravo garb, was though. killed, though. No, I won't do it. No, okay. I'd, anyway, I'd suggest you change that garb if you're coming up to Montreal. <laughs> this actually, anyway, to luck. me, uh, is now coming off like a scene from Al Pacino's crew cruising movie in the late 70s. This is Hello, such ladies. an embarrassment. Hello, ladies. It's Fez Dust. Welcome to New York. Where are you from? Get him out of the Utah. street, please. I don't want anybody to get hurt. You're all, from, you're all from Utah. Yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry about that Romney campaign. <laughs> what? She's like, Fez Dust is being mean. What have you done so far in New York, ladies? Uh, we were shopped on Canal Street. Yeah, oh. Um, I could tell by the fake purses. <laughs> oh, they're real. These ones are real. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah, yeah, they sell those on Canal Street. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Yeah, it's great to get brand names for $4. Yeah. <laughs> and what's the funnest thing you've done in New York so far? The funnest? Yeah. Um, shopping. Just shopping? How would Watching you like... Watching all the meat stacked on Carnegie Deli sandwiches. Serendipity. Oh. And we saw Mae Ryan. Is that right? You saw Meg Ryan uh -huh. and Serendipity? Uh -huh. Very nice. They just reopened after the rat problem. Why don't you... Hey, how would you like to be the first Mormons ever to smoke crack? There's a big party I'm throwing tonight. It's kind of a New York gangster thing. It is the big city. Yeah. Fez does... Uh, they're, they're busting us. There we go. Everybody run. Thank you, ladies. Thanks for being here. Enjoy I your trip to New York. I hope that wasn't the lady on the walker. Yeah. I have... Uh, Take care, young Mormons. Yeah. Bye-bye. I have uh, completely changed on how much, how great I think Mormon ass is. Hello. Oh. I'm Fez Dust. Yes. Fez Dust. Yeah. Yes. What do you think of Fez Dust? Fez Dust. Yes. Oh, you're interesting. Yeah. 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 Yeah, real, real interesting. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, it really is. And I'm a, it's cold out, so don't judge me by that. Oh, no, 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 no. All right. Yeah, there should it. be some kind of bulge in tights. <laughs> There's no doubt about that. That's They're tight. Probably, they're just tight. not that tight. Not tight enough because you're not squeaking, so it's okay. There you go. So, all right. Thank you very thank much. Thank you, sir. Yeah. We're gonna like hear George Animal steals on his <laughs> eyebrows. Yeah. Uh, so what does gold dust normally do? All right, here, let's try to meet these gentlemen over Hello. here. Hello, I'm Fez Dust. Hey, guys. How are you doing? Good, how Who's are that? you? Where are you mm -hmm. from, sir? South Korea. South Korea? Yep. Okay, you ever see the TV show MASH? Uh, first time here. Yeah, first time here in New York? Mm -hmm. What have you done so far? Oh, uh, I'm looking for... Um, yeah, yeah. You looking for friendship? No, go ahead. Yeah, how'd you like, like to meet a nice lady? Oh, mm -hmm. I think so. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, all right, very nice. I love you guys on Heroes. <laughs> <laughs> Do they know? Gold dust should start to fly off I'm you. I'm starting to molt. <laughs> My feather bow is going, that yeah. sort of thing. What part of uh, South Korea are you from, sir? Uh, I have no idea. No. Hey, do you know a brother run over there run by the name of Ying? No. Okay, all right. I don't so know Yang. I thought maybe you know him. He's a he friend of mine. He knows you. He owes me money. 
All right, well, enjoy your uh, your trip here in America. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? It's very uh, unusual. So far, everyone we've met, we've defeated in a war. I don't know what it is. It's almost like meeting the jobbers. Hello, ma'am. How are you? I'm fine. Where are you from? Here. You're from here? <laughs> yes, well, yes. you have a beautiful apartment. Oh, you listen at the same time. Mm. Gold dust. There he is. What do you think of Fez dust? You look great. Yeah. Thank you very much. It looks very... Try to I, grab... I, no one said we could touch Fez dust. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> Try to grab some of the people coming across the street, Fez dust. Hello. We, Welcome uh, to New York. I'm don't Fez let, dust. Don't, Would Fez. anyone like to meet Fez dust? They, anyone. Going out of their way, walking through traffic to say what? It's How starting to hurt my feelings. Excuse me, sir. Are you on a Fez? Yes, we are. How are you? Your show. Thank you very much, sir. That's Fez Dust right Fez there. Fez Dust. How are you? Very good. Yeah. You guys are fantastic. I love your show. Thank oh, you. Thank you. All right. I, Tell a does friend. It really hurt when somebody shoot uh, shoot you with that um uh, balloon ink gun? Yes. Yes. It, it the hurts ink me gun really hurt gun. We're answering all the questions out here today. <laughs> yes. I, I, did you get stung by an octopus? I don't remember an ink gun. I think he means a pen. No, no, Someone no. Someone threw a pen at me. Yeah. You know, uh, Here's some more people coming by. Hello, Fezzy. Fez Dust. How are you? How are you? What is your name, sir? What, Who you? are you? Fez he, Dust. Fed. <laughs> From the Ron and Fez show. Now, don't no ever bring up my is. fucking oh. name on the street. Oh, wrestling? I am telling you right now. <laughs> is it wrestling? Now, yes, it's wrestling. Yes. Do a wrestling move for him, No, never wrestling. Yeah. <laughs> What do you think of the look, though? What do I think of the look? Uh, maybe a I little toe hold here. I thought maybe it was a prostitute from behind you. Whoa. <laughs> well, it could be. How much are you offering? Yeah. Absolutely zero. I'll offer a prayer for you. Uh, and what, that's what, it. What religion are you, sir? Roman Catholic and oh. very proud. Uh, well, I'm a Muslim, and one day we will burn this Muslim. place to the ground. Thank you very much. It's great wow. to meet you. Uh, we will eat your children. I don't know. Goldust should really be more. Hello, sir. Fez dust. How are you? Sexual. Yes. Than this. Oh God. What? That guy just glared. He just looked plain mean. Yeah. Uh, Fez, I out of all the bad radio bits you've done, this is the worst. <laughs> and I kid you not, this is literally the most embarrassing I've uh, I've ever been in radio. Hello, it's Fez dust. That's a woman no. who's hiding her face from me. Yeah. She actually put something over her mouth, as if she could... Oh, geez, look at this winter coming your way. Hello, sir. It's Fez Dust. Come What's on up and out of the street. Get him out of the street, Peter. Fez. Yeah. Hello. Where are you from, Peter? Um, Cambridge in, in England. No Americans will talk to us. We will only be talking... No, not one here. Yeah, Cambridge, great school, huh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. in the meantime, you got no teeth in your winter. What are you doing fucking... in the States? <laughs> Having a holiday. Having a holiday. Yeah, having a good time. Yeah, what have you done so far, sir? Rockefeller Center, Rock Empire State Building, yeah. the Staten Island Ferry. Oh, yeah, it's all new stuff, huh? Yeah, yeah. great stuff. Way Table to get Park. off the tourist beaten track and see it all. And now you're just walking around uh, yeah, town get, in an NYPD group. shirt looking local. <laughs> yeah. On the way back to Salisbury, we're going home shortly. All right, well, have a wonderful trip back there. Thank you. And you know what? If you guys wouldn't have worn red jackets, maybe all this could have been yours now. Who <laughs> knows? You lose one war and look what you, you lost for it. Thanks for coming in, sir. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Peter. Bye-bye. I don't want anyone to get confused with the NYPD sweatshirt. He's not really with the police department. Yeah. I'm sure the, the, the little town of Cambridge is happy to have him. I hope he sees some of our fine dental in industries here oh, <laughs> while he's in industries. town. <laughs> Hello, everyone. It's Fez Dust. Hi, Hi. How are you? Come on up here. What's your name? Uh, Claudia. And where are you from? The Bolivia. 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 See. Bolivia. Yes. Bolivia. Hey, you know what? I probably put you guys through school. So, uh, congratulations. No, no, South really American ladies. English. Yeah. What's that? You don't speak any English? No, I speak much English. Well, you know the international language of. There it is. Thank you. That's good Coke. You got any uh, Coca? Coca? Yeah, yo. No, no, no. No, no, yeah. All right. Get the fuck Playing out of here. Playing dumb, Ronnie. Playing dumb. Yeah. None of the broads ever have any on their own. Yes, yes. Yeah, you get can get have your a picture. picture taken. All right. Bye bye, honey. No, I'd love to buy your candy. <laughs> what are you selling there, kid? Oh, this is the help put our basketball team back on the map. Mm hmm. Yeah. Fez, go over. 
Hello. Hi, Goldie. How are you? Good. Goldie. How are you doing? What's your name, dear? Miriam. Yeah. So, uh, and what do you what? think of gold dust? What do I think of gold dust? Yeah. Um, excuse me if I'm a little ignorant as to what gold dust is. Gold dust is a wrestling icon. A wrestling icon. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. Yes. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you very much. I appreciate no, you and your furry hat talking to me. Fez, okay. did you actually think this was going to go somewhere out on the street? Did you think to yourself, we'll find comedy out here? Hello, ma'am. <laughs> it's gold dust. Please. Fezzy, do me a favor and don't chase the homeless. <laughs> Gold Dust is out on the uh, the uh, corner of 57th, and uh oh, this is another bit that went into the shitter. Uh, trying to pull this one out of his ass. Hello, sir. How you doing, buddy? How's everything? Yeah, Dad, it's Fez Dust. It's what? Fe I'm Fez Dust. What's Fez Dust? Fez Dust is me. I'm a wrestling icon. All right. How are you? What's good, your name? Good. Ziggy. Ziggy. I'm a Rastafarian. <laughs> right. No. I see from the hair. Is that your hair, sir? Yes, it is. Yeah. It really is? Yeah. yeah. You didn't just buy that no. in Times Square? Oh. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he's bald. <laughs> so, Can I be a wrestler, too? Yeah, sure. Go ahead and take him down. Of course. Take him down, and there's big money in it. If you think you can, Ziggy. <laughs> now, Ziggy, so why... So when's up? we going to have a championship match, then? Z Z Not Ziggy, why would you think uh, I'm going to put on a Rastafarian wig and walk around town? Of course. If you got to be keep a happy medium on the job. I work construction. You know, uh -huh. it's miserable construction. Right. So you got to make people happy. So the other guys are like, I hate spot welding. Wait a minute. Look at Ziggy's hair. Yeah, this is great. They see me. They like, oh, smile. All right. <laughs> Does that take the place of a construction helmet? Yeah, yeah. Look, it's hard. It don't... No, this is only New York that you could dress up like that, Fez, and still only be the second best character on any different street corner. Exactly. Yeah. All right, so um, listen, I gotta go back to work. <laughs> yeah. Nice yeah. You guys. All right. All right. All right. All right. Take care of yourself. <laughs> what, what, now, what, what, what station we now here's on? the beauty of this. How'd you like to be in an <laughs> elevator and know that Ziggy worked on it? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah. All okay, right. How you doing, guys? All right. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Ziggy. Hi, yeah. girls. Where are you off to? They're in the street, Fezzy. Don't stop them, please. Only people on the sidewalk. I don't want anyone to get hit by a bus. Gold Dust is out still trying to make it work. Uh, walking up the corner of 57th Street as we head back up uh, the Fez Dust character that we were hoping could take Fez out of the funk that he was in yesterday has, uh, I'd say, pretty much laid an egg, Fezzy. <laughs> Probably not getting the popular reaction I was hoping to to Fez Dust out here. Well, I can't believe that some of the street performers have just blown you away. Maybe if you act like you're doing the robot. Oh, okay, I can do that. Yeah. Hey, everybody, there's a guy in gold doing a robot. Give him a nickel. Nothing. Got a honk. That was about it. Yeah, that's about Look, again, we've got people walking through the street to get away from him. We're going to get sued. We're in one of the busiest corners in New York, and people are going out of their way to stay away from Fez Dust. I thought Fez Dust would have captivated them. Yeah. There's a the lady running with her baby. <laughs> That's not her baby. That's oh, a no. gypsy. Hello, sir. Hey, making friends, Fez? Trying. <laughs> yeah. Hello, sir. The guy actually tugs his shoulder as if it was an attempt at rape. <laughs> Fez, see who else I can please meet out stay here. away from the corner. That's all I'm asking you. You only got about three minutes to pull this one out of the shitter, Fez. You got to see if you can make it done. Fez, uh, these pictures will be up on ronfez.net very, very shortly. Fez Dust out on the corner of 57th Street doing everything he can to make something happen with his bit. Maybe next time you know to win uh, a contest. I'll study my wrestling trivia. He yeah. Have a shot anyway. Uh, yeah, I don't think he does. It, see if you can meet these ladies over here. Hello, ladies. I'm Fez Dust. They how ran are in the you? street. They <laughs> ran in the goddamn street. When they go into the street, Fez, stay away. Here, how about if all the rest of us pull back so Fez is alone and they don't see the rest of us in the way? No, still nothing. They go out of their way to stay away from him. They're making a wide berth around me. Uh huh. Much like the listeners, uh, it's the same exact situation. Here come some people. Yeah. Make it work. Hello, Festus. Nice to meet you. Hi, how are you? What's your name? Shuman. And Shuman. where are you from? Bangladesh. 
Bangladesh. Yes. What are you doing in New York? He's looking for George Harrison. No, we're all just a little suspicious. What are you doing in New York? <laughs> just working and, uh, you know, relax. Okay, just working no one's and buying that story. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, uh, again, along. people walking in the streets to stay out of this bad gimmick. This sidewalk has really cleared out. Yeah. So is this neighborhood. That man had a really mean look on his face. He was a delivery boy. I don't think I'm ever going to watch wrestling again. No, you shouldn't. All right, let's see if you can't capture these two. Hello, it's Fez Dust. How are you? <laughs> yeah. All right, great hat. My mom, my grandmother used to put that over toilet paper. People, they, you're actually making old people run. Old to people. To stay away from you. You would think the foreigners would love this. The what? The foreigners. Okay. <laughs> the visitors, the tourists. Yeah. Making friends, here he is. Fez Hello, does. Fez does. Care to share the pizza? Do not let people run into the street. Pull it over, and I don't want anybody to run in the street to get away from you. Turn around and try to make a friend. Hello, everyone. Fez dust. Welcome. Welcome to New York. Where they want no part of you. Not one of them. There's probably eight people in that group. You uh, remind them of every rape nightmare they've ever had. Fez dust out here at 57th Street and 6th Avenue. Uh, well, that's just about wrapping it up down here, too, Fezzy. And you did a good job. What do you think of Fez dust, everyone? Yeah! Thank you, everyone. You it's, will remember the name. You know, my opinion has always been it's better to have bad radio than good radio. I don't know why. I just find that it's more memorable. But to see this tube out here was uh, it was a joy, Fuzzy. It, it was really fun, was. and my, you know, my wig, you know, off to Sam who won, you but, know, the trivia competition. All right, now with the wig off, yes, you look like Gold Dust's uh, sickly grandmother. <laughs> Cancer Grandma dust. dust? Cancer dust is who you look like. Now. There's one more dust I'd like to introduce, though. Who's that? That's Gold Dust, the Barber Bean yeah! Man! No, he's trying to shave. He's trying to shave Sam's head. Get away from the door. Get away from the door. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Stay away from the sky door. All right, off we go. They didn't get you with it, did they? No. After with a razor. Food. Two guys wrapping their arms around my neck and saying, good job. We always want to be good neighbors here in New York. Right. And not get our show in trouble. So we head up the road. And that's just about it for the Ron and Fez show. Fezzy walks back once again, downtrodden and dejected. Not realizing the greatness that awaits him in the 21st century. All right, Ron and Fez show. By the way, we're still getting over the embarrassment that was gold dust and the uh, guy downstairs says to me gold dust coming down today i go no that's a fucking one day away thank you priest uh Fez, you got out there on the uh on the street dressed as gold dust right and then what and then nothing happened and then i just <laughs> drew like a giant blank once I was in costume and full gold makeup. I couldn't help you cuz i didn't know what gold dust did or why this was a bet but we all went downstairs, yeah. and Fez just stood there. Right. <laughs> so I started kind of interviewing tourists that were walking by, and then Fez slash Goldust started interviewing tourists. <laughs> Hi, where are you from? And I go, this cannot be why we came downstairs. He certainly didn't appear to be a wrestler. No, it was not. <laughs> you didn't think? It didn't appear to be anything. He, he was just... Uh, Interviewing people, but it didn't happen to have on a long gold wig. It and then we had people running into the street to get away from him, which I'm like, yeah. all right, this could fuck up us if somebody gets hit by a car. And then uh, you guys uh, tackled Sam and Sam into another building's door. Right. And I look over, and there's gold dust smashing <laughs> them up against the door. And I'm like, this, uh, this is beyond fucking what it should be. Yeah. Time out. End of show. <laughs>
So I don't know why we meet after the show every day, Mooch. You've been you've been here as the artist in residence. You can see now none of this stuff makes sense. No, it's hard to it's hard to believe. Well, the meetings tend to, the meetings tend to be just like in ten minutes of work, and then everyone he berate Earl. Yeah, I know. And Earl and try and get Earl to like scream or leave the room, and he tends to do one or the other. But what if this would have been one of the things? What should gold dust do? <laughs> Maybe that's one of the things that we have meetings about. Yeah. And I looked over at you, Fez. And your eyes had kind of glazed over. I went into a very bizarre world of confusion down there. And it's something that's been happening to me. Like, I knew, I had it in my mind what Goldust was going to do. Because Goldust always did, like, movie quotes and stuff on wrestling. So I was planning on, like, acting out scenes and stuff. Recreating scenes with maybe some of the people walking by. That sort of thing. Hmm? And why would they? Then, <laughs> why would people? First of all, they didn't even want to see you or touch you. I can't imagine one of them wanting to do it on the waterfront with you. May, you should have looked out for me. You were my brother, not my knight. More where it was worked out in my head, I guess. And then I just drew a complete blank when I got down there. And I've been having memory troubles lately. I wish and I did, so I didn't remember <laughs> Friday. That's my dream, Fuzzy, to have memory troubles. How come Gold Dust only had one gold shoe? Why was that? I ran out of gold paint. <laughs> I'm going to tell you the Pitsy truth. Pitsy was in charge of wardrobe and ran out of gold paint. I don't think that was the worst thing about the bit. <laughs> I don't no. think the fact of the one gold shoe was the worst thing. But I, I got downstairs, had no idea what we were doing and why a drug on so long. And I know other shows don't act like that. I know that there's a rhyme and reason why people do things. <laughs> Did you think everybody was just going to love you because you're wearing gold? Maybe that's what it was. It seemed to be. It seemed to play out in my head, and then I got down there, and like I said, I just couldn't remember anything to do. I couldn't remember but that was gold your, dust line. That was your time to be in control. Right. Absolutely. And guess who came up with the idea of gold dust? Who? I don't know. It was not me or any of us. I think it was you. We don't know was who Gold Dust is. Yes, <laughs> you and that fucking Sam and Sam are the only two who understand what Gold Dust is or does. I'm like, okay, you got to be Gold Dust. <laughs> yeah, all Fez has got to be trapped being Gold Dust. How did I fucking know it was going to turn on me? Of all the characters to choose, too, by the way, yeah. Gold Dust. Uh, here's uh, Mark. Mark. Yeah, I know it's a ten year old bit. <laughs> That no one remembers, including the guy who did it. <laughs> <laughs> well, he could have been stone cold. Why didn't you say you're going to be Anthony Vron from my old neighborhood? <laughs> I'll put on a wife beater. <laughs> hey, where's my brother Gino? That would be it. Uh, Mark, you're in front of Fez. Hey, what's up, buddy? Yeah. Listen, Fez, I was wondering why all of a sudden you went from being gold dust and Fez dust, and then you turned into Hulk dust and started uh, copying other wrestlers and adding... I saw that at one time. Did that make sense? Well, that was something that gold dust would do. He would turn into different wrestlers. Well, you only turned into one and only for a second. We really needed a gold dust bio. Right. And, and the, the listeners needed to hear some sort of gold dust documentary before. Just to update him on the character. Yeah, well, it was he all, was never that good. It was very confusing to me. My mind just went blank. Maybe it was the gold paint seeping into your head. Did they get that off all right? Uh, yeah. No, it, it, I'm no. still digging glitter off of me. It looked pretty. Like out of my ears. And yeah, that the sort one of thing. thing you did look good. I don't yeah. know if you look like gold dust, <laughs> but it was like a good costume. You look like an Oscar. Yeah, that's what gold dust is supposed to look like. Hmm. All gold. Like he's an Academy Award. <laughs> and then he just stands there as people walk by. <laughs> and when you try to talk to him, he just glazes over. Yeah, I thought Gold Dust was like about like sex. Like, doesn't he's always like touching himself and stuff. But you didn't really do much of that. No, that's part of it too. You're right. That I forgot about. <laughs> All right, no more contests with you. <laughs> Seriously. And how long? Remember, didn't we that have six up. weeks? Yeah. We had six weeks probably in between the contest and this. Right. To, to go out there and go, this is what I'm doing. Yeah, it's just something with me right now where I cannot remember stuff. Where I'm actually going to see the doctor today about it. About your gold dust character? <laughs> no. <laughs> Here's what you need to do, Fez. <laughs> Come he out and act like you're being very sexual.
Who's your uh, favorite obscure uh, wrestler, Fez? Um, mine would be... Um, I always liked uh, Rusty Brooks because he was such a Dusty Rhodes uh, ripoff and just a complete jobber. What about the Iceman Parsons? Oh, yeah. Iceman King Parsons. Yeah. Well, you seem like you know more than him, Fez. I'm oh, the, I do. Uh, I do. You ready to do it again? <laughs> I would love to do it again. Really? Yeah. Yes, I would. Yeah. Yeah. I would uh, love to do it again. This time, loser has to eat the winner's ass. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> you win? You fucking in, fan? Look, I'm the champion here. All right. Right? I don't know. You I'm, want the winner to eat the loser's <laughs> ass? Wait, wait, wait. Is that what you're saying? I don't know what I'm saying. What if you guys just both eat each other's ass? <laughs> I don't, you know what? This is why we have to take four-hour tests. It's, this is why. Uh, yeah. This is why, because the contest didn't come up. I just didn't understand his argument. I'm the champion. I, I, I should eat the ass. It, was, it threw me for a little Who bit. Who wants to eat the ass? I'll eat the ass. No. <laughs> why can't we all? What is it that you want there's, this time? There's plenty of ass to go around. Well, I feel like I don't have anything left to prove. I mean, I've got the belt. Right. So, but you don't you don't want to have a contest where the the loser has to do something embarrassing? I would welcome it if somebody wants to challenge me. If Fez is trying to challenge you. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. What, are you, what are you going to put on the line against my belt? Right now, all I have is ass eating. <laughs> <laughs> don't act like only Fez. That's plenty. That's, so, that's all I trip. have on my mind right now. Because even if I beat you, then you still have to eat my ass. Which feels why you act like that's a bad thing. I'm not comfortable with that Wonderful. arrangement. What? Really? Yeah. I thought you were gay. I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm <laughs> sorry. Your ass is too good to be eaten by me. It is. Then forget it. Your ass could do a lot worse than my mouth up in there. Oh. <sighs> That's disgusting. That's what do you want to do? Suck on balls? No. <laughs> Somebody sucks on their balls? Pick I'm... something. Pick a body What's... part. <laughs> Jeez. What seems fair? He's right backing now. down, Ronnie. Yeah. I... What seems fair? What, to put up against my belt? Yeah. Maybe how about uh, if I beat you, you don't eat my ass. <laughs> All right. That's a start. <laughs> but I can see why you picked him as a radio partner. Yeah. Just let's, contradicted. Yeah. Let's try to stop things from happening. <laughs> what we're trying to do is get the listeners not to talk about this. <laughs> You know, if uh, the, I the contests fall apart all the time. Yeah. We were supposed to have a basketball contest in oh, here. Yeah. That fucking fell apart. Uh uh-uh. What were you guys putting up on that? $1,000 each. Confederate money? No. Real hard-earned American cash, baby. Mm-hmm. And you know what? I'm still willing to do that. I'll fucking play Earl today. In fact, I want to raise it to 1500 if he's such a big shot. All right, let's do this. For, forget you guys. I don't give a shit about you. Okay. I'm going back to the wrestling champ. Okay. <laughs> I say if you lose, then... My name's Sam. Hmm? <laughs> S-A-M. All right. Sam. Yeah. Sam. Yes. Yeah. Wow, that doesn't really roll off the tongue. Unnatural. If you lose, your girlfriend has to do a fashion show for us. All right, well, what type of... Would I be able well, to see what she'd be modeling? Yeah, I'd say that she models a bathing suit, uh-huh. uh, a nighty. Okay. And one extra thing. What would be fun? Pasties. <laughs> okay, well, that's <laughs> Just pasties? Yeah. <laughs> How about an outfit made out of food? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that. Grapes. Uh, well, I was with you for the first two. Okay. I like cloth. All right. Um... All right, so we'll come up with one extra thing. And what if Fez loses? Then he has to do the modeling show. <laughs> we'll I'll model the same outfit. It'll be a pal, yeah, it'll be a pal talk thing. We'll get the outfits. Okay. And then you have to model the same exact one that she would have to model. Right. We might have to get her on the phone and ask her, too. Oh! oh. <laughs> Wow. Just saying. Wow. The wow. This takes us back to ass eating, <laughs> which I will put on the line and spot you nine points. <laughs> <laughs> you just want to eat an ass. <laughs> Where does that come Get from? Get close then? to him. It smells like you ate one already today. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what would the third thing be, Fezzy? All right. We have a swimsuit. Mm-hmm. Uh, Nighty. Nighty. And Naughty nighty. Evening wear. <laughs> Evening gown, nurse's <laughs> uniform. <laughs> Lingerie is different from a nighty. Uh, dominatrix really. outfit. Um, I right, want to go dominatrix. 
He's texting somebody right you now. You say, <laughs> well, you ain't going to lose, are you, Sam? No, there's no way I'll lose this one. And my <laughs> right. name is Sam. So why wouldn't you just bet it and feel comfortable? And don't even tell her. And then if she loses, then we'll just go and snatch her and grab her. <laughs> well, I'm not going to lose. Right. So are you ready to accept the challenge? The Pal Talk Challenge. Yes, I am. Yay! Yay! Well, you better fucking win this one. Oh, I got this one. Hands down. I am ready to go. Last time you got beat 10 to 1. Yeah, when well, it's going to be 20 to 1. It wasn't 10 to 1. It wasn't 10 to 10 to 1. Yeah, it was. Are you sure? Same as fucking time it is right now. 10 to 1. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? <laughs> that's freaking me out, man. Yeah. Here's uh, Johnny Fairplay. Johnny. Hey, so do you, is this another wrestling trivia challenge? Do yes, need, it is. Do I need to bring uh, questions uh, May 9th? Well, how did you guys feel like he did last time? Yeah, I, I, I thought, thought he did really well. I thought his questions were unfair <laughs> and unwrestling like. I thought he asked pretty much right down the middle, fair questions for any true wrestling fan. We got mall questions, we got uh, merchandise questions. <laughs> and any expert would get all those questions right, at least 10 of them. Expert. <laughs> so, so you, you want me to concentrate more on uh, WWF jobbers from the 80s, Fez? <laughs> Please. Ooh. Fez wants you to Please concentrate do. on his two brothers and the impressions <laughs> they used to do. <laughs> Ricky used to pretend when he dropped the atomic elbow, he was ill. Dusty Rhodes. His brother, his older brother, dropped so many elbows on cans that his fucking arm doesn't work anymore. <laughs> Every time we were at a party, watch this. And he would just drop his fucking elbow in a can. And he would crush beer cans with his uh, bionic elbow. Now uh, there, the no, cool Watley kids. Now there is no cartilage left in the elbow. All right, so we'll get in touch with you, Johnny, and we'll set up a date on this. Okay, perfect. All right, I want my man. eight out of the ten answers being Rusty Brooks. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. You feel like you win this time, Fez? Yes, I'm totally going to win this time. I'm all for Fez uh, on this one. What? Yeah, I do. I want to see your check. Sorry. Seriously. He won't win. I beat him 10 to 1 last time. Fluke. I 10 to you. 1. Fluke. It's the same exact time it is right now. So weird. So scary. <laughs> but wouldn't you rather see your chick uh, being around us while we're yelling and throwing beer at her and stuff? <laughs> <laughs> Put up some chicken wire. <laughs> I'd rather just keep my belt and watch Fez look pretty in those same clothes. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. I have a friend named Multiple Migs. I want to bring in the day your uh, girlfriend's modeling. Wow, you're old. You bring up that. What was that? When did that come out? 1980? No, it was much later. Oh, okay. I think there he is. <laughs> it was 94, 93. What a bet? I want to bet it was 90 at the fucking, uh, at the earliest. Do I have to do another fashion show if I lose? <laughs> no, I just eat Dave's ass. <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> Oh, hey, look who it is. Uh, Jess is on the phone right now. Uh-oh. And as you know, uh, the beautiful Jess, she dates Than. No, Sam. Mm -hmm. I'm Sam. Than is over there. He's the taller one. I'm Sam. You're both dating the same girl? Uh, How if awkward. you're Sam, why call the show Than and Than? It's called Than and Sam. Crazy. <laughs> uh, Jess, how are you? Hi, guys. I'm great. How are you? Well, we're so excited to hear what? about this bet that you're in. A bet? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Sounds like she's up to speed. Here's what it is. It's wrestling trivia. Okay. If your uh, boyfriend loses, <laughs> you on Pal Talk will dress as a dominatrix, <laughs> then a naughty nighty into um, a backwards G-string. Wait, wait, I didn't say a backwards <laughs> G-string. We said a bathing suit. Yeah. We said bathing suit. Yeah. Not a backwards G-string. Well, what is she wearing when she goes in the water? One, one of those piece. 1800s oh, she was, ones. She doesn't wear a backwards g, g No, string. she wears a nice uh, one piece. Now, if your man wins, uh, Fez will wear the same clothes. So well, that oh. day, we will have the three sets of clothes. They will be sitting here, uh, shot uh, very, very nicely by, on the Pal Talk cameras. They'll just be <laughs> okay. sitting there as the show opens. Then... And I think, are you two about the same size, Fez, or are you a little bigger? Um, slightly bigger. Yeah. Yeah, she's a little taller. And Earl, what about you? Are you bigger? White people are so scared of black people. Mm, I better take that test. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jess, are you excited about this? I didn't even know I was entered into this bet. Neither now, did I. Your man knows more about wrestling than anybody, right? Yes. So you're confident he's going to win this? Yeah, I'm pretty positive he'll win it. If I have to be in this bed, I'm sure that Sam will win. I'm yes. Oh, Sam will win. you! 
<laughs> yes, because he knows so much like about the history of wrestling where the valet that gets put up never is lost. Fez doesn't <laughs> actually know anything about wrestling. Oh, oh the gay. Except for one point worth. Oh. 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 making fun of his points. <laughs> Face up. Face. Face is All right, so that'll be exciting. We'll work out a date for this that you'll both show up. And no matter who loses, no matter which one of you is walking around in that, I bet everyone masturbates. No matter <laughs> who it happens to be. So the listeners win. I don't even want the listeners involved in this. I just want it to be us. May I have final approval on the outfit? You absolutely can. All right. Be okay. Because. Then I get to eat ass. <laughs> what? Sammy's ass. Okay, good. Um, yeah. We will actually let you uh, have final approval. And Fez, right. you won't get any approval at all. You'll see it that day. Yeah, I, I want it to be a surprise. <laughs> yeah. What Jess is wearing. Wrong. And Fez, if you do lose, shave down first. Because you're pretty hairy. Yeah, I'm pretty... It'll take a while, but I'm pretty furry. Then you better start now. Yeah, it really should. you're going to need to. Really, Afro. You got it. <laughs> right, let's not call names. <laughs> This is very uh, nice. All right, so uh, we'll be picking the podcast, so maybe uh, Tony will be in for that. Yeah, too. he might yeah. be in there. Mayhem Radio with Tony the Intern. Uh, oh, and Jess, by the way, uh, mm -hmm. today in front of your boyfriend, Lily laid back and spread her legs as far as she could and goes, how do I look now? Oh, she did, did she? Yes. She had some nerve. Yeah, well, <laughs> I would say that, too. All right, darling, we'll see you soon. All right, Ron, take care. Bye-bye. Bye, Jess. Bye. Oh, this is so exciting. There you go. She knows I'm going to win. It's mm. going to be a shame. She's going to be here, and you're going to be like, I can't wait to see her. Then and why did she want final approval on the outfits? It's I might a... give you money to throw this. How much? <laughs> a dollar. <laughs> it's going to take more than that. I'll, I'll match it. All right, there you go. There you go. Two bucks is already up. Listen, <laughs> even more valuable than this whole fashion show thing, my belt is on the line. Hey, what could be great is that that day you ask her to marry you. Ooh, oh, you yeah. just dropped to one knee. That would be so good. Do the right thing. I don't want to steal someone else's bed. I don't know that what you're talking about. That means you'll be having a baby within a year. <laughs> <laughs> Some things moved a little quickly. Well, it's radio. Oh, you know what yeah. I mean? You got to keep the listeners yeah. on the edge. Right. When's the divorce bit happening? Oh, when we go with that angle? Golly, no. Watch your language. <laughs> I mean, we're on satellite, but let's not get crazy. All right, we're going to break here. going to be doing the wrestling challenge two the first one when you were badly humiliated now uh you will be taking on the young hot shot of uh, 202 young sam from the sam and sam show now the way that this one works out we have some nice items all ready for a fashion show if fez wins this uh we will get a fashion show from Sam's beautiful girlfriend, Jess, who, believe me, he should be married to by now because he'll never get another broad like this in his life. Really should. If you win, Fez, that's what happens. Now, if he wins, you will be wearing the exact same clothes. So, Sam, come on in here, buddy. Yeah, uh, not just matching outfits, the exact same outfits. I mean, come on in here, Jess. She is so adorable. Uh, and this has been said, many. yeah, come over here and sit next to Uncle Daddy. Have what? yourself in one. She has a nickname for me, Sam. Don't make a big deal out of it. Uncle Daddy? Yeah, we're like uh, family. Like step parents. <laughs> so a little later on in the show, we'll be doing this. Last yeah. time you came in, I saw you. You were completely confident. Yeah. This time you look a little nervous. That's not nervous. That's the glimmer of my belt reflecting back in my face. Oh, is this a wrestling character you're doing? I don't watch. It's not a character. I don't know. I don't know how it works. The three dollars of plastic and foam rubber. Somebody's is that, jealous. Are you on a heel gimmick? Yes. Okay, I don't know how it works. You're the baby face? I'm the champ. Okay. <laughs> That's what Quit matters. slamming your plastic <laughs> belt down on the console. See, he has to take the belt down a peg every chance he gets because he doesn't have one. Do, I, do you want this belt, Fezzy? I will crap on that belt if I win it. <laughs> Is that a good or bad? I don't know. I don't know either. One All or right. the other. Something. Now, now, Jess, how do you feel about this? Pretty good. Pretty confident. Sam will win. No, you know he has no life. 
Sam? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I mean, I live with him. Yeah. So all he does is watch wrestling. (laughs) Absolutely. What do we have 24-7? Yeah, we got it on demand. We got the tape library. I actually have to ask to watch TV so he can stop recording whatever he's recording. And usually the answer is no. (laughs) (laughs) He tells me to go in the bedroom and watch TV. Who does that? Uh, Little boys. (laughs) Little boys who don't care about anything else. Champions. Uh, So last time you dominated him. Now, Fez, both... now, Now, this... Is interesting because Sam has more to lose mm-hmm. this time. Yes. Uh, nobody wants to say, I guess it's your manager uh, get humiliated after the fact. I don't know how that works. Valet. Valet. Okay. Oh, okay. That's <laughs> what, yeah. So his valet would then belong to Fez. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, Fezzy, you uh, are a little off put because tomorrow you're going into an insane asylum. For the mentally disturbed. <laughs> yes, uh, I'm going to a rest <laughs> camp, Ron. So, yes, I, I will admit this. I've been preoccupied. Right. Now, <laughs> where are the, where's the clothes that the fashion show is going to be? Now, the interesting thing here is, too, th- we're going to have the same clothes for whoever loses. Right. right. Now, Fuzzy, I am not... I don't, I've never worked in a clothing store. Right. But so even with my amateur eye, I'm going to look at you and Jess and say... You're not the same size. <laughs> I'm a little more full-figured, a little more big-boned. Right. Taller. Well, let's face it. Oh, yeah, it. true. <laughs> well, not by much. Well, Fezzy, once I get out of these <laughs> sneakers. Fezzy, let's face it. Your body matches your age. And that's fine. <laughs> that's good. You shouldn't worry about this. All right, here's the first thing that we have, which is a, a beautiful little black skirt and top. And I cannot uh, picture... Uh, Watley getting into this. Oh, boy. All right. If I lose, I may have to just tape that to the front of me. <laughs> right. Can, m- maybe if Fez shaves off one of his legs, he could fit in that skirt. I will also say this right off the bat, Fezzy. Uh, and I don't know whether you can uh, understand this from your own asexual background, but I would love to see Jess in this outfit. Oh, that okay. would make my day and then later my night, if you know what I mean, I Sam. I don't think that's appropriate. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Not respectful. <laughs> Masturbating, yeah. Why, Sam, I didn't even mean oh. that at all. Oh, I, I didn't even were, mean that. I thought you were asking. She's right you know, there. <laughs> even by the, you know what, Fez? When I'm masturbating, you'll be in the nut hut. So, <laughs> hey, do you plan on... No, I don't think I... I don't imagine I would even have the urge. Then let me write that down, what I'm sending them. (laughs) Has lost the urge. (laughs) Do you think they're going to put you on new meds? You know, I don't... They might, but I just really started on this new medicine, so I think they may just go along with that. And they talked to my psychiatrist, so... Take my advice, brother. Down out. Just stay downed (laughs) out the whole time you're in there. Just treat it like you're on a flight to Japan. This is uh, Watley in 3B. I can't sleep. Uh, <laughs> just oatmeal falling down your face. All right, that's the first outfit. And if that was all there is, I would love it. Where's the outfit number two? Pitsy, did you pick this stuff out? I wish I could say I did, but that, this is a Jess collection, actually. Really? Nice. Oh, oh my God. Mama. Right, that's from the swimsuit oh, two pieces. category. Two pieces. Wow. wow. Two flag. <laughs> Can I <laughs> smell right, Fez. Oh, could I smell those before no. Fez wears no. them? No. You can smell them after. <laughs> if I lose. Or if you win. That's the deal. All right. You're going to smell them whether he wins or loses. <laughs> wow. Sam, this is the greatest day of our life. You Sexy. really want to see Fez that badly? Huh? I want you to do the right thing. What's that? I want you to count the lights, brother. <laughs> and let me tell you something. I'll take care of you later. You're going to get that shot. Later, he'll be in the back of a car with me. Not my night. I could have done it all. I could have begged somebody. You should have watched out for me. You were my host. You were my host, Ronnie. All right, is that it? One more. Oh, my God, there's more. Oh, a little sexy. Oh, and this is see the through. Uh, <laughs> see through <laughs> the evening Mega wear. Dave, this is just like mom used to wear. Remember? Oh, yeah. Lingerie. Lingerie. Right. Prance around. Prance around. Right, you're sick as a bastard. Look how red your face is. <laughs> you're out of your mind, I Dave. know, but that is the sexiest one so far. <laughs> see through 90? Where are your hands right now? <laughs> no one needs to know. They're under the table. Keep them on the table. <sighs> no one needs to know what I'm doing. 
Wow. Shocking. Shocking. All right, now do we have the rules all done for later on? It's to yeah. 10, and it goes back and forth like last time. Exactly. Each question is worth one point, and if that person that gets the question misses it, the other person can steal. Mm. It's going to be just like last time. Same score, same everything, with the champ coming out on top again. That's right. Now, do we one have slight a, difference. Your girlfriend have, in a bikini. Do we have enough? You know what? I know that you guys jaw, and I know that's all part of it, but it really bores me. <laughs> <laughs> we could be doing this so much faster without that silly uh, talk. By the way, of course, the Sam and Sam show is the show of the future. Yeah. Uh, everybody in the business recognizes that. When are you doing your, your next episode? Well, the next episode will probably be sometime, I'd say, mid to late summer. <laughs> all right. I can't but wait. Wow. Until then, you could just go to thanandsam.com and check out all our previous shows. I'll tell you what I like. Both uh, of them. I love All seasonal right. radio. It's just like, <laughs> as soon as the seasons start to change, this is exciting. There are 15 full shows for you to listen to on the website. Now, uh, Jess, have you done any modeling before? Never, no. So this is exciting for you? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. First time. This is going to be almost like work in a bachelor party. You think so? Yeah. Well, I for, get fez. Fez. <laughs> for Fez. For Fez. Mm-hmm. The only thing I'll be wearing is that belt afterwards. Oh, what? Oh, I mean, with my clothes. Wait a minute. <laughs> Was that a promo you just got? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Sort of. Because I watch other things. I don't sit and watch wrestling 24-7. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I can't imagine anyone who does. They call it WWE 24-7, but they have all the promotions. Mm. It's great. <laughs> I, well, they own everything now, right? Yeah, he owns all the tape libraries, so you get to watch it all. So, uh, Pitsy put this together. Now, are you nervous that you're being set up? Last time, uh, we had a judge that we could all feel comfortable with. Yeah. Who's Who judging? It? Well, w Pitsy is the one, is the only, are you the only one so far who has seen the questions? Uh, no, David has seen them also. I've seen uh, the questions. They're very fair. They're very up, up straight. And Fez, have you seen them? I have not seen the questions. Can you feel like you can trust him, Sam? I feel right now okay about it. Okay. But I Just will have okay. my eye on what's going on. Right. And I'll know that if Fez keeps getting questions right, there is funny business happening. But there's nothing. There's no funny business. Fez Wattley's going to win this thing. Maybe your nerves just got the better of you today. See, with this, Jess on the line. See, this is a quandary because obviously I want to see Jess in these clothes. But it's better radio for to see Fez in the clothes. <laughs> I so agree. I, I told these guys from the beginning, no cheating. And I feel like I win either way. But then in another way, I feel like I lose either way. <laughs> <laughs> That's glass half empty. <laughs> you really don't think like that. Yeah. Think the first By the way, David, like there's want, two glasses, though. I wanted to say to you, congratulations on your one-year anniversary of your radio engagement. When we started <laughs> that radio bit uh, with the ring. Right. One year ago. And you guys haven't sold that ring yet? No. I'm shocked. I thought oh. that you guys would keep that ring. I told Fezzi, oh. if they got it a month from now, I'll be, uh, I'll be, I won't be. I will believe it. No, yeah. I, I, Magic beans and two beers. I would always trust Fidelity Diamond for the love of my life. Fuck them. We don't have to plug them anymore. <laughs> they already gave us the diamond. Remember we sang a little song with it too, or something? Oh yeah, it was a very exciting time when you got engaged. Yeah, it was great. Uh, then we, we here's how we did, did the radio gimmick. We did the engagement, then we did the fake wedding. Well, that we're was running real. into the the fake pregnancy. The real again. And now Monday maybe is the fake baby. Right. Yeah. The fake baby, which is real, will be right. uh, maybe possibly coming on Monday. Now I've been going over some uh, you know storyline ideas. And the next one looks like you come home and find Casey che cheating on you, oh, God. and then the divorce. Because we really have nothing left to do. We've uh, got to sum this no, up properly. Gotta, no, yeah. I think we have a, a year or so of a drinking problem that okay. causes domestic uh, disturbance in the home. That's Puss. another way to go, really. I guess. You know, it's not a bad idea. That one actually could work. I plan on a little bit on Friday. I know I said uh, I'm not going to drink till the baby comes, but I figured today's the first day of vacation, or, you know, I can drink a little bit. Well, you can't now because she could have the baby today. I know. Come on, Mr. B. That's not me <laughs> saying this. <laughs> this is your own responsibility. You don't want to show up. Four beers. That's at any all. point now, you know, she could have the baby, and you don't want to be the guy who was too drunk to see his baby born. <laughs> They'll put you out of the hospital. Even for you, that's pathetic. Right. 
four or five beers tonight, just chilling out. I'm going to watch a little playoff basketball. That's that's all I ask. Why don't you go out with Z-Man in <laughs> case you really need to? Because he'll get that ball game on. <laughs> Wear great, fabulous shoes. <laughs> Why are you embarrassed of your shoes? I'm not embarrassed Because they kept us shoes. from having a nice uh, dinner. And even Earl has gotten into that place before. Yeah, I don't know how. <laughs> Because he wears shoes. <laughs> I have shoes. There's nothing wrong with these shoes. Oh, I agree. If you're three, you could get in any ball pit in the country wearing those shoes. I didn't know we were eating at the snobbery. Well, I don't even know what that means. That? <laughs> All right. Well, one year ago, mm -hmm. we did the engagement bit. And Jess, mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't think that we're going to do some silly no. contest here, do you? No, I think you guys are going to do a straight contest. Honey, there's no contest. No. Sam I wouldn't agree to this again. <laughs> Sam has a question for you. Oh, stop. Go ahead. <laughs> stop. Jess? No, stop, stop, stop. You're just kidding. Mm -mm. You sure you're okay with the wrestling show? <laughs> <laughs> Is that going to be cool? Wouldn't that have been great, though? <laughs> Wouldn't that have been wonderful? Look at her. She's crying, you <laughs> fucking asshole. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! I was like, how the hell am I supposed to do this? <laughs> yeah, I'm all right with the wrestling contest now. <laughs> Remember when we got uh, Casey in uh, under the dumb game show bit? We we're gonna play match game. Please yeah. be here. We're playing uh, match game. You know, dumb <laughs> doesn't always need to be involved in that. Sure, we fell for it. We're match game fans, dude. We you, thought we were gonna play the game we loved. Dave, Idiots, Dave. You weren't fooled. You were part of it on our side. <laughs> I was. Yes! I, you think I tricked you into getting the game? I think so. All I did. Remember you had the ring? I was very confused that <laughs> night. You had a speech that you had planned? Right. Now it's coming back to me. <laughs> Jess is over here just pounding water. That was fucking weird. That was really weird. I'm so ready for this game now. <laughs> Not dressing up doesn't seem so no. bad to her. No, not at all. You played that nice, too, because it really did seem like you were going to ask something. You're awful. You it's a really like terrible thing to do to what I consider a fiancé, whether you do or not. <laughs> I know. Just go with it. Hastily get married. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, man. Have a Make an important party. life decision in three fucking minutes. Just kidding. Ooh. I love my dogs. <laughs> I am fucking around. I, it's the best decision I ever made. Guess who's not drinking I love, tonight? I love, I love my wife very much. In fact, I love her more now than I did a year ago. Wow. That's nice. Thank you, Jess. Mm -hmm. Is it true, though? Yes. Then don't drink tonight. Be there while she's, you know, while you're waiting for this baby. How about two beers and some Listerine? Something. I how just much, need a little How bit. much looks to rain? Half Enough a to get high on? <laughs> <laughs> you, are you actually swallowing it? Drinking it? Yeah, you'd have to swallow it a little bit. And then she says, what happened to all the list three? We well, Kitty Dukakis, you <laughs> really are uh, in a bad way these days. <laughs> I'm not opposed to you having some Listerine on any day. <laughs> it's first day of vacation. That's it. Just once and then it's gone until the baby comes. That's a fucking sterno bum, my friend. <laughs> That's a sterno bum. That's what I have to do, you know? <laughs> what, are you out of nail polish remover? None of these stuff feel like you should start checking them off on the old AA quiz? <laughs> Sometimes. Because my bottom never was near drinking a fucking bottle of Listerine for a cheap high. Oh, I know. I'll poison myself rather than stay in reality for a couple of minutes. Right. All right. So we're going to take a break here. When we come back, Fezzi, we'll play the game. Uh... And uh, from that point on, we will know which one of these young ladies is going to be putting on a fashion show. Will it be Jess or will it be Fez Watley uh, just hours away from going into a mental institution? And these are the pictures that could keep you there for the season. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if I lose, I'll probably just get in the car and end up driving there in the same outfits. <laughs> Might as well. You'll be a fucking legend. <laughs> even crazier, even crazy people will go, hey, did you see that guy come in this afternoon? <laughs> wow. Is that weird? <laughs> Ron and Fez. Hey, Ron and Fez show, it is time. Once again for WrestleMania... Uh, to play the sounder, uh, Earl. There it is. That's radio production. Um, 
It is a contest of wills between the young upstart champion and the old timer making one last walk down that aisle. The Terry Funk of radio. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're not? No, I'm not as old as a funk. He just come off that way. Uh, and everything is on the line here. Sam, for you. Yeah. Uh, your beautiful, beautiful girlfriend will be doing a fashion show. Basically, my entire relationship is on the line. It is on the line. Yes. <laughs> and because she will be doing a fashion show in front of anti-social brutes. Yes. Now, Fez, for you. Yes. Here's one last chance of dignity before you go in the nut hut. One last chance to say... There's still some magic in this old corn that I found. Perhaps I can make reindeer fly. <laughs> yeah, where, you know, I can at least hold my head up high as I walk in a mental institution. Unlike the way your head was down low yesterday when we weren't allowed to go in the cigar <laughs> because of your shoes. He was feeling so bad, Dave. That it actually, that instead of... <laughs> Why is it funny? <laughs> Can I borrow your belt? No, yeah. 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 Here you go, Fezzi. Help yourself. <laughs> a nice drumstick. Thank you. <laughs> and then I actually, because Fez was feeling all bad about it, and then I, I, I actually turn around and I go like this. Oh, come on, Fezzi. We don't want any of those apples. They probably have worms in them. <laughs> and I was very proud of that line. They probably have worms in them. And then he started pulling the apples off himself and throwing them at us. All right. This is it. Who goes? Uh, who gets the first question? Fez gets the first question. For being last time's loser? Yes. For being a challenger. All right. Here we go. First question. Now, remember, if Fez misses... Then it's a steal that goes directly to Sam. Right. And it'll be back and forth that way. But after that point, there's no more answering, right? You get one shot each. Correct. All right. First Fezzy. one to ten. Good luck. Thank you. All right, Fez. How many Why? times did Rey Mysterio hold the WCW Cruiserweight Championship belt? The WCW Cruiserweight belt. I will say Rey Mysterio held that belt four times. Damn. Oh, was that good or bad? That's bad. Oh. Incorrect. Sam has an opportunity to steal. I will say five times. Oh, yeah. Oh. oh. One dollar more. All right, you would have got me if you would have said, what's a cruiserweight belt? <laughs> <laughs> they're, more, they're, they're belts for smaller people? Yes. Yeah. It's like a light so, heavyweight championship. Basi basically like a luchador belt. I don't know what you're saying. Right now. <laughs> All right, so uh, it's already one nothing, and, and Sam gets the opportunity to go up two here. Yes. Sam. Oh. Who were the three wrestlers that Terry Funk defeated at the first ECW pay-per-view, Barely Legal? The Sandman, Stevie Richards, and Raven. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, shit. 2-0, Sam. I would Here's what's that. killing me. Jess looks, uh, we got her up in a chair and she looks fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> just like, I keep looking over going, what if she was in a nighty? What if she was in a bikini? I guess Jeep we'll never me. know. Two nothing, Ooh, Sam. Man. All right, Fez, yes. shake the cobwebs out. All right. Move, did move, you move. know that one? Yes, I knew that one. Sure you did. Yeah. St still a long way to go. Okay. <laughs> Why? Fez. <laughs> <laughs> what was the name of the stable that the Undertaker led in the late 1990s? The stable that the Undertaker led in the late 1990s. That was called the Cult. Damn. Mm. Well, it started as the Ministry of Darkness, and then they merged into the corporate ministry with the corporation. Oh yeah! Wow. Oh shit. Oh shit. I was going to go with Horse Stable. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Fez, you're in big trouble again. <laughs> right, yeah. now, What's the score? Three zero, oh, Sam. No. I just want to point out now. I don't now, like the stealing rule. I, wanna, <laughs> I just want to say to Than and Sam, look how honest we are on this show because <laughs> this is not the way you would cheat to help it's, yourself. It's still early in the game. Yeah, Sam. Yeah. Who was Hollywood Hogan's tag team partner at Bash of the Beach, 1997? I believe it's Bash at the Beach. Hmm. And That's uh, what I, said. I will say, I believe it was uh, the worm Dennis Rodman. Oh, yeah. Wow. All right, Sam. 
Four Knew that zip. one. You're my Four valet. Zero. I know. You know what? WWE 24 seven. All right. Why don't we just put? A, <laughs> why don't we just put a parka on her? You <laughs> big idiot, Fez. <laughs> we're not going to get to see anything. That's not going to help me come back. Hmm. Are you down four zip? Four zip. Crazy girl. <laughs> there's still plenty of time to get into this ball game. No, there's not. And it's not a ball game. <laughs> Nothing. This game show. <laughs> I can really, I'm really bummed out. <laughs> it's not over. I'm an awful person, and this was really going to be great for me. <laughs> I haven't hidden this before. Sam knows how I feel. <laughs> Fez, what two arm? What? Sorry, Fez. What two wrestlers formed the tag team, the Brain Busters? The Brain Busters were Arn Anderson and Tully Blanchard. Ooh, yes. Yeah. Woo! Is that Four. two points? <laughs> That's just the one point. Okay, okay. I thought it, it, it was an outside shot. <laughs> Four one, you tied last time score, Fezzy. Four, Congratulations. Say, <laughs> <laughs> Sam, which? Former Nitro girl is Shawn Michaels married to? Ooh. Hmm. I will say Velvet. Damn. Uh oh. Come on, Fezzy. I am going to say it's Destiny. Damn. Oh. Uh, who is it? Whisper. 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 That's a name? Whisper. Uh, I didn't follow the Nitro girls as closely <laughs> as I should have. <laughs> Nobody did. Fez is up. All right, good chance. Sam is still in the lead, four to one. Fez, who defeated Ric Flair at the Chi Town Rumble to win the NWA World Heavyweight Championship? That was Ronnie Garvin. Damn. Oh. I will say, at the Chi Town Rumble, <laughs> it was. Jimmy Garvin. Damn! <laughs> Bit of a cold streak, it was Ricky Steamboat. Oh. Mm. Was that Ricky the Dragon? That Steamboat? was Ricky the Dragon. <laughs> Can I have a point? <laughs> yes. <laughs> right now, Ron is tied with Fez. <laughs> <laughs> Ron Bankton making a slow comeback, even though the, even though the late entry. <laughs> I believe I can do it. <laughs> Fizzy, who's up? Sam. Sam is up now. Who trained... 12-time world champion, Triple H. Killer Kowalski. Oh, yeah. 5-1, Sam. All right. Fez needs this one. By this the way, I believe that's Killer the Dragon Kowalski. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> at least oh, it gets, isn't? No. Hmm. I think you, the you at least get a half a point for no, that. All right, so Ron's got 1.5. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Potent. Fez... Name three of the ring names used by Mike Rotunda. All right. Mike Rotunda. IRS. Um, he was also Mike Rotundo at one point. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> I don't. No one's given this a, a big bam or whatever we yell out when it's good. Got and one more. You can keep. Yeah, one and more. And I'll say Erwin R. Scheister. The. Oh, yeah. What? That's just two names. IRS and Erwin R. Scheister is the same name. Well, Mike Rotunda. I, Irwin Michael R. Wall Scheister. Street is the other name. IRS. He went by a lot of names. I think Fez is going to have to get that point. Just, How do you just, think, Harry? He said two as, names. No, no, no. Because IRS and Erwin R. Scheister were two I, What does people. IRS stand for? That was a different thing. It was a Irwin different Irwin, alias. It was it, not. It, IRS stands for I, Irwin It R. really is a bad question. It's a bad, I would throw out the question. Throw right. out the question Let's throw completely. Out, throw out the question. Here we go. And who came up with these questions? That would be me. Oh, I can't wait to see you at the after show <laughs> meeting. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a... Guess who's going to be here during vacation? <laughs> <laughs> All right, then it stays with Fez. Fez. Sorry, which... Mom, we can't go away like this, bro. <laughs> Ron's making me clean the office again. <laughs> Maybe I can come out on the weekends. Fez, which wrestler went unpinned on U.S. soil for over a decade? U.S. soil? <laughs> <laughs> Andre the Giant. Damn! Now, that is probably that's, true. That's yeah. true, though. I'm Roddy Piper. Damn! That's... What's... I think... Andre went 15 years without yeah. being pinned. I think that is <laughs> the, accurate. The, uh, the answer is Dr. Death Steve Williams. <laughs> Well, but where are you getting this from? There is no <laughs> way Dr. Dusty <laughs> Williams went 10 years without being pinned. All right, why don't we throw out this question, oh, too? Christ, Pitts. Fez was being cool sorry. during the first time. I think uh, we could ask Sam to be cool during this time. Let's fucking really get the questions together now. Okay, here we go. 
This is this, this now is Dave it. can't have a baby. If it's up to me, <laughs> you're not going to be in there Come with on. the baby. Well, how is that? Okay, this is it. Fess, who was Pitbull number one wrestling when he broke his neck? Taz. Damn. Shane Douglas. Oh, yeah. Wow. I say we throw out that question. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know we were numbering the pit bulls. <laughs> By the way, the correct answer is Pitbull the Dragon, <laughs> number one. That's another point five. This is great to see how the laughs get smaller <laughs> as I go along. Well, I'm trying to teach everybody about diminishing results. Here. <laughs> Sam six, Fez one, Ron 2.5. Sam, what? <laughs> name the two factions that Kevin Sullivan was a main part of. Well, there was... I'll say DX in the NWO. Damn! Fez to steal. Repeat the question, please. <laughs> Fez, name the two <laughs> factions that Kevin so Sullivan stupid. was a main part of. I'm going to say the Dungeon of Doom and the Army of Darkness. Damn! Dungeon was like a magic thing, right? Uh, Dungeon of Doom was correct, mm -hmm. but Varsity Club incorrect. He didn't say I varsity didn't say club. I mean, I'm sorry, club. no. Varsity club, club was the answer. answer. Why would that idiot be in the varsity club? <laughs> yeah. He didn't go to any college. He came from hell. <laughs> so it remains the same. Fez is up, though. So. Six I, one. Uh, just need one Sam second. Sam is up. Uh, Sheepy needs to bring no, me more popcorn. Stole. Oh, all right. Yeah. Okay, Fez. What Pacific Isle is Jimmy Superfly Snooker from? The Fiji Islands. Oh, yeah. That was big. That was the easiest question ever. That was big. <laughs> it was very easy. I doubled my score <laughs> from last time. Six to two. Sam, two-parter. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> don't, don't argue with the host, please. <laughs> what gimmick was used to determine the match between Sting and Jake Roberts at Hollywood Havoc 1992? <laughs> Halloween Havoc. Oh, Halloween. Halloween. <laughs> what match did they participate in? Coal Miner's Glove. And what gimmick was used to determine the Spin match? Spin the wheel, make the deal. Oh, yeah. All Is that right. two points or what? No, That's one point. No, it's a one point. <laughs> and Fiji Islands. By the way, just so you know, one question. Yes. There shouldn't be two-part questions <laughs> because anyone who got coal miner's glove knows what the fuck they're talking about, you idiot. Dr. Death. This was my big tryout for the feud. <laughs> <laughs> and Pitsy's <laughs> fucking it all up. <laughs> oh, Pitsy, I'm not getting any vacation to Dragon. <laughs> Pizzarella. <laughs> Extra point. <laughs> Fed. Yes. Which former WWF heavyweight champion played Super Shredder in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2? That was Kevin Nash. Oh, yeah. Good. 7-3. Fez is coming back. I've tripled my score. Sam. Yeah. Who was the last ever heavyweight champion before WCW shut down? Before it shut down or the last WCW champion? Who was the last heavyweight champion before WCW shut down? I will say Booker T. Oh, yeah. 8-2. Wow. You need, you, Fez needs a run here desperately. 8-3. Correct. Whatever, they all ask for Beth to keep one the for Jeopardy. Yeah, one point that's for one for, yes. one for Pitts. <laughs> that means it's Sam 8, Fez 3, Pitts 1, Ron 2.5. Fez. Yes. Which wrestler held the WWF Hardcore Championship for a record 27 times? I will say Hardcore Holly. Damn! There's not a fit with a name. Yeah, I <laughs> think. I'll say Crash Holly. Damn! The answer is Raven. Holly. Holly. Raven. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I'm not believing the question. <laughs> <laughs> not trying to cause trouble here. Is there a fact checker involved? <laughs> you need to lose weight really quick. <laughs> <laughs> Sam? Yeah? What was the Freebird rule? The Freebird rule was that falls count anywhere. Damn! I believe that has to end every concert in the South. 
Please, Rod. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm wrong. Sorry for trying to throw some entertainment <laughs> in the middle of this dog shit hour of, of radio. <laughs> Fez to steal? The free bird rule was any two of the three fabulous free birds could defend the titles. Ooh, yeah. Fez Watley right. coming back. It's eight to four. He loves that southern shit. Oh, man. And I remember more this. free bird stuff. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and Fez is up. Fez. Yeah. Tracy Smothers claimed to the be... The least funny of all the Smothers brothers. <laughs> 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 Tracy Smothers claimed to be from what town when he was part of the full-blooded Italians? I will say New York City. Damn! I believe Nashville, Italy. <laughs> oh, yeah! Correct. Wow. Game point for Sam, 9-4. to four. Here it is. Come on. And he's up. Sam, who were the members of the Can-Am Connection? Rick Martell and Tom Zank. Ooh, yeah. Look at me. Ooh, Still yeah. the champ. Oh, Still the champ. Oh, I knew that. Oh, I knew that. Ten to three. Oh, I knew Canadian wrestling. You did a little ten to four. You did a little better, but you're still not on the champ's level. So now Jess has to do a fashion show? How's it work? How Jess is work? talking smack over there. <laughs> That's what it's about. Yes. That's what it's about. That's why we watch TV all the time. I still have a girlfriend. <laughs> and you're still allowed to watch wrestling 24-7. Yes. Jess, can we just at least see your lower back something? <laughs> yeah, maybe a little later. I think a little lower back. Yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> they all out there said it couldn't be done, but it was done. I'm no still the wrestling that. expert. Not one well, person said Th that. Than wanted you to win. <laughs> Did you really, Dan? No, you, but I want to thank you guys for having me on today. I'm uh, I'm gonna take off for the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna miss the fashion show. <laughs> Bye. Everybody, tune into Pal Talk right now. Get on your Pal Talk. Uh, <laughs> big ass room. Yeah, Click big on ass room. I am the pits. I'm the pits. Yes. We're all the pits. <laughs> Not me. I'm the expert. That's my new name. All right, uh, Frenchie said she was uh, talking to her dad, then uh, Chris took care of things with uh, Franklin, and that's why we're up and uh, running. I thought you were the other room, Franklin. I, it really doesn't matter. We're everybody love. There's nothing but love there. So, Fez, you will be wearing uh, Jess's clothing, and uh, does she want it back when he's uh, done sweating through it? She I'm, actually mentioned that she might need a new bathing suit, because that's actually just a bathing suit <laughs> out of the closet. Yeah. Oh, is it really? Yeah. yeah. God damn, I'm so furious. <laughs> she fucks. <Yeah>. Um, <laughs> but by the way, uh, that stuff has been requested by the Hard Rock. The moment <laughs> that you take it off, they're going to have a representative here to look at, uh, to pick it up. I will be magnanimous enough to give it to them. No. <laughs> well, Fezzi, uh, I mean, the day before you go into the nut hut, I wanted you to get a win. That's what I was really hoping for, but I guess rock bottom is the best way to get there. I don't know. And this was your rematch clause, so if you want another shot at this belt, you have to work your way back up the rankings. Through who? Dave and Pitsy? <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Is there anyone out there that he could beat? Anyone on your show? <laughs> Look, he's the second best. He's still, he was a very good challenger. But I'm the expert. I don't need your pity, Afro head. <laughs> <laughs> How come even when you're mad, you don't sound mad? <laughs> hey, Afro head. <laughs> it still seems like you want to be friends. I'm a low boil. Yeah. All right, I guess we'll take another break, and you can change into some of these clothes. And when we come back, we'll go straight to Pal Talk, where Fez Watley will dance this dance. Now, the problem is, Fez, where are you going to go to change in between these? Um, I'll just have to run back and forth to the office. Okay. We shouldn't that... let Fez have a pass here. He's going what? to the mental institution. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> you are nice. You want to model instead? No, but I think Sam oh. might want to do it. Oh! oh. She do just, it. She's mad at me because of that engagement thing. Do oh. it. <laughs> Where are the ones I can't fit in? <laughs> I don't know if I'll agree to that. Do it. Is there something you feel like you can fit into? No, it's, it's all going to be a little snug. It's all going to be a little, yeah. I dare you to wear that to the nut hut. <laughs> Jess and I are practically like sisters. We're about the same. Mm. All right, so uh, we'll take a break. and we come back, uh, uh, turn on Pal Talk and see Back Fat. It's all uh, coming up on the Ron Fez show. 
This is the Ron and Fez show. Uh, a lot of guys are here in the studio because we we're all excited to see Jess put on a fashion show. Whoa, 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 whoa. But every time that there is risk, there is uh, a chance that you can lose, and today we did. And now, uh, this is just another gay club <laughs> with a middle-aged tranny uh, with a hairy back that will be uh, coming out to uh, dance for us. But I want to make this nice for everybody. And we're going to pass out cookies. So, <laughs> Mikey, background. Let's uh, pass out cookies and see who can hold it down. Fez will be modeling uh, three different outfits after losing once again to uh, Sam from the Sam and Tham show or the Than and Sam show or Than and Than or Sam and Sam. I don't know. I really can't keep up with it. Uh, but uh, we will not get to see Jess, but... Just if you would just walk up there, just around the pole once in your just regular clothes, yeah, just in a, just to let us know what we're missing. Look what we could have been seeing, guys. Oh, oh, that would have been fantastic. I honestly think you Next would have. Time. I honestly think you would have saw guys openly masturbate. <laughs> I think it would have gotten that strong. <laughs> that we would not be able to withhold. How disappointed are you, Dave? I'm extremely disappointed. I don't need to see Fez's genitalia again. <laughs> again, that's the problem. Yeah. Between you, <laughs> between you, <laughs> Earl, and Fez lately, <laughs> we've been seeing a lot of bulls. <laughs> uh, all right, if you'd like to check this out live, you go to the Pal Talk room. Big ass fun and an enjoyment <laughs> on Pal Talk. Uh, let's hit the music. And let's see what Fez is going to be wearing for his very first outfit. He's bringing sexy oh, no. back. Uh oh. All right, he's in his own. He's in his own robe that doesn't exactly fit him. His robe from home. Fezzy, how you feeling about this? <laughs> Well, a little off-put right now, exactly. Uh, like you said, even the robe is snug. Yeah. And I'm, in I'm a little embarrassed. Let me go ahead and just start modeling. Sure. Because mm -hmm. I had a f couple of what you would call in the fashion business wardrobe malfunctions. Oh, I understand. Because <laughs> it is the same... Uh, oh. oh! Jesus. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, <laughs> what happened was... I split the zipper on the skirt on this particular bustier outfit. Yeah. So we got some trouble there. And then apparently there's something wrong with the top. Because A, I don't think it's supposed to be a midriff. And B, isn't it supposed to be able to zip oh. up? Oh. He's got ass Jesus. crack showing. Now from the front. You basically look like a lineman for Nebraska. <laughs> Remember the old school thing where the belly would hang out? Oh, sure. Yeah, the half shirt. Yeah, yeah the half jersey. Uh, so uh, not exactly what we're looking for. But I got to admit, the stockings are nice for you. I wish you weren't wearing the toddler shoes. All right, let it rock. Bring up some music. Let them dance to it. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Oh, Jesus oh. Christ! <laughs> Who's disappointed now, boy? Who's disappointed now? Everyone. <laughs> oh, that's cold. That pole is cold. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it's a little hard to keep all of this on, Ronnie. All right, as Fez is dancing, we've already lost two people to diving out the window. <laughs> it's a happening. Take the heat. It's a happening. Yes, we don't know why they they're diving. Take the heat. I'd spin a little oh. bit more, but I'm afraid some things are going to fall out, and I've kind of split the stockings. Oh. Yeah. Jeff, Jeez. I'm trying to get this back to you as in good a shape as possible. Thank you so much. Dry cleaning is not necessary. <laughs> oh, why couldn't David Lynch be here today? <laughs> this would have been his next movie. So what do you want next, lingerie or swimsuit? Uh, uh. Surprise us. Wait a minute. I didn't get much of a vote from no. the guy. <laughs> Come on, fellas, let me hear it. <laughs> I can't believe they had an answer. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, uh, let's go lingerie uh, next, Fezzy. Okay, so we'll do. Uh, and off you go with your uh, oh. handler. I've never seen... I've never seen people uh, quite so disgusted in their life. <laughs> this reminds me of, like, uh, 
a 4 a.m. titty bar. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's really bad. You're not getting the A-team out there. We start to hear stuff like, Stella to the front, please. <laughs> you know, you're not getting the Cadillacs and the Jasmines anymore. <laughs> Eleanor up front. Eleanor. <laughs> Is it too late to throw this contest? <laughs> I begged you. I begged you to count the lights for this one. So selfish. He yeah. sort of looked like a homeless person who had stolen an American Gladiator's uniform. <laughs> <laughs> it did have a water world look about it, didn't it? <laughs> As if some kind of post op, op <laughs> Ah, fuck it, a nuclear war happened. <laughs> and then we were forced to whatever uh, entertainment we could come up with after the fact. So far, Sheepy's got a hard on. I don't, <laughs> I don't think I can speak for anyone else. <laughs> this is a dismal place to be. It's really <laughs> the lowest. And thank God for satellite radio, because you couldn't have this kind of middle-aged male porn <laughs> on terrestrial radio. There's still some guidelines. Thank Christ. All right, Watley, uh, I guess, uh, in the back, cutting off the dress. <laughs> He's going to end up losing a leg because everything's so damn snug on him. And I'm glad uh, that we're all suffering through this together. You can see this on Pal Talk. Pal Talk at the big ass room and click on I'm the Pits. What a perfect title for the room today. <laughs> the big ass room. And look how quickly he wants to expose himself. <laughs> for a guy who acts like he's shy and upset about things, he couldn't wait to get that white ass of his out. <laughs> And he wonders why they're going to lock him up next week. <laughs> he doesn't belong in society. There's not a society on the planet that would accept this little act today. And talk about throwing it. I think he did. He could have <laughs> won this. He could have <laughs> won this. He wanted that old hairy nutsack out. <laughs> that was his dream. Hey, and you know he loved those fishnet stockings. Like a... Well, I'll tell you, that's the one part that I did like. <laughs> All right, Earl, give us a new song. He's coming back. You better work. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, he's working it. Come on. Come on, guys. Let me hear it. so long, but those things are as hard to try to get myself out of as they are to get myself into. Well, I hope the butt lube worked out for you. <laughs> Alright, here he is. He's checking to make sure. Oh, oh my god. Oh, my nighty goodness. time. Oh, oh my god. Oh, this is disgusting. Pardon my modesty. <laughs> this is the most... Oh, no. He puts a, he puts a marble... I know what boys like. <laughs> I know what guys like. <laughs> hey, way to be current there, Grandma. <laughs> so, if anyone's, you know, wondering if they want to take something home for the ladies... You know, I can model this for you. <laughs> this is a fucking scene from Escape from New York. <laughs> this is like if the Michelin tire man got hooked on crack Escape. and they started pimping him out. It's riding up in the back. Could you pull that down a little, sir? Oh, thank you. <laughs> Matt Ryan was already used by the kids in the hall. Yeah, no one knows your inside jokes. Oh. <laughs> so this is the lingerie. <laughs> mm. This is disgusting. Are you gonna work it a little bit on the pole, or uh, well, you're afraid? I'm afraid. To <laughs> there he goes. Oh. So what I'm doing is just a little bit. I just hey, no, no zoom in. <laughs> hey, uh, let's not zoom. I just got a call from Mitchell Walters. He wants his thighs back. <laughs> That's cruel. I know. And it was a joke just for you. I know. <laughs> just to hurt me. All right, uh, try to pull uh, the mic to one side so you can show it off. Or just shimmy for pal talk. Shimmy for pal talk. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Get in front of the pole. You're on the wrong side of the pole there, Fuzzy. There he goes. There go. Oh. oh there is the... What I love is that he's got bulges for every place except for where you'd want one. <laughs> <laughs> and there's just only the smallest hint of a penis. <laughs> it's not supposed to be this way. <laughs> there he goes. Let him hear it. 
The best is yet to come. I don't think so. I don't think you can top that. Now, the other thing that's sad is he's so exhausted. He's actually just from running around like that. You can see him huffing and puffing. <laughs> What we ought to do while he's back changing is we'll all just fucking leave. We'll just come back in here and the lights are out. We'll just have Earl in a wig uh, cleaning up. Oh, no, they left a long time ago. Yeah, everybody said they had a place to go. Oh, that was fucking horrid. Yeah, he, he really does belong in the institution. That's not a place. That's not normal. That is not a normal thing to do. It's psychotic. Yeah. But that's not normal. Earl, this actually may be almost as embarrassing as when uh, you did your act. Well, I wasn't embarrassed at all. I, I love being... You should have been. I, yeah. I mean, I should have been. <laughs> the, only, the, the first time that you've ever broken a black man's stereotype, and it was the one that they wanted to keep. <laughs> you... <laughs> they hate every stereotype except for Big Dick, and you... That's the one you busted to a million pe pieces. And Lily actually even out at you to people. She's <laughs> online. Uh, her new online name is Earl Has a Small Cock <laughs> <laughs> on Pal Talk right now. All right, we got one more thing, and this is your actual bathing suit. This is my actual bathing suit that well, I've worn to Florida, California. Wow. Mm -hmm. Well, I, here's what I want you to, to think about, too, uh, Sam, yeah. that this could be your chick in another 45 years. <laughs> so, we don't know. We don't know what the future brings. And that includes the beard. <laughs> okay. <laughs> For the record, yeah, Dave is smelling the bathing suit afterwards. Well, yeah, he will. But please, like, you can Fine. stop him. Yeah, well. <laughs> I want both scents in my nose. <laughs> Hers oh, and his. <laughs> He's fast. He's great. <laughs> Sam, why are you laughing at that? Some of this you should be defending your girl's honor. It's like yeah. it's great. <laughs> Call her whore. <laughs> you got her. <laughs> All right. Uh, I got uh, Hicks, who I'm now calling uh, Young Ron Bennington's haircut, <laughs> is... <laughs> 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 That just makes him makes me like him all the more. <laughs> all right, uh, he is uh, setting things up on the runway, and it literally is the size of a fucking airport runway. <laughs> it's despicable to try to get him down the hall here. <laughs> and uh, this is the bathing suit, and I don't know whether we can go past the see through nighty. No, that was that was sex. Well, that was unsexy. Stuff. I, I was the whole time he's doing that. I'm going, God, if Jess was in that, I'd be out of my fucking mind. <laughs> I literally would have probably had my elbow broken now because somebody would have had to jump at me to pull me off of her. <laughs> Been like a fucking uh, a rape at a biker bar. All right, well, I won. <laughs> All due respect. All right, let's uh, let's bring the big cat out here in his bathing suit and. Um, the odd thing is, one of the things that doesn't fit him is his own robe from home. <laughs> and it is one size fits all. <laughs> or maybe in this case, it's just one uh, size fits Al for Al Roker. <laughs> Uh-oh, is it raining, ladies? <laughs> because he's got a parasol. <laughs> I have a parasol because, boys, it's a sunny day. Oh! Oh! <laughs> now who's the loser? Huh? Oh huh? Now who? Oh. I can't believe it's actually on his body. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jess, my it wasn't God. that hard of a fit. Oh. Oh. It hey, really hey, wasn't. Hey, wait a second. Face. <laughs> <laughs> I am ready for sun and fun Face. and vacation. Yeah. <laughs> Too bad I'm going to the nut hut. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we oh. got it. We oh, wait, my umbrella got caught. Look how big that ass crack is. <laughs> I've never seen something so long before. <laughs> this is what everyone's wearing on the beach this year. And I don't Stay mean me. the bikini. I mean me, boys. <laughs> it's Fire Island. <laughs> it's unfucking believable I didn't think a pink and brown print would be my, st my style, but it works for me. Sure does. Again, you are completely happy. You'll sit in here and cry over nothing, and yet you're able to walk around like this. <laughs> well, let me just congratulate the winner. Oh, 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 Wait a minute, stink face. Oh, 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 get the fucking camera on it, you idiot, Pitsy. Oh. oh, 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 oh. 
That is disgusting. Oh, hey, to the victor goes the spoils. Oh. And that is spoiled, yeah. by the way. Wow. Oh. <laughs> I hope everyone enjoyed the fashion show today. Yeah, let them hear it. <laughs> You all know you wanted it. <laughs> Fez, you just got to dance for another 18 minutes, and then we go to break. <laughs> 18 minutes? And off you go. I don't have the breath. Oh, my God. You know what? Uh, I'll get this right back to you, Jess. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. There you go. Off you go, Fezzy. Yeah, put him back in his robe. Thank you. As he leaves. Take the walk of shame. Yeah, Harry Tranny. And that, it just goes to show you, too. If you don't use your penis, you will lose it. <laughs> it will say there is no use for me, and it will just turn into a small lump of f flesh. <laughs> a little marble. His, his, his crotch looks like a place where a cock should be. <laughs> All right, we're going to break here, and everybody will have the chance to rinse with scope. <laughs> and I'm going to drink it. Because you're an alcoholic <laughs> and desperate. Run a fez.